don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement Everything I do, so instinctive and so passionate Every word I move, so descriptive like an adjective I gotta vent better against people who patent it Being negative when you should be getting after it I got facts over facts over tracks This and that, spitting slow, spitting fast I could roast, I could gas, think I'm okay at last But I don't know if that can erase all the past And the pettiness, oh reflection of the emptiness Hilarious, you think you're with my time, you're delirious Mysterious, because you are behind the fake exterior Inferior, you know I'll always be a bit superior Get off of me, this ain't no humble brag I want you to hear words, you can say them back I want you to feel free from the chains at last And to believe in what you got, it was built to last, yeah now that I've been put through, I never got anyone's help. I had to do it all myself. I don't ever slow up, no, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I don't ever slow up, no, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I'm gonna learn the consequence of being incompetent. Mental health is confidence, dreams into modestness. I'm not here to save the day, that's for you to take away. I could play a million mind games, but instead I say something not illogical, something that is topical. Rub it on and watch it go, make yourself unstoppable. Dreams are irresponsible, but they're always possible. If you just believe, you could be so remarkable. Thoughts in my head, a collage and they spread. I'll be great one day, going off of my meds No, I'm not giving up, no, I'm not giving in I will make it to the top, taking off in the wind I gotta make it, I'm saving every day to taste it I'm patient, but my mind, it can hardly take it I'm chasing a dream that I've had for several ages A bacon, modern kingdom for the taking Now that I've been put through Hold up, hold up, thank y'all for tuning back in to your favorite channel Pelican Bay K9 is giving it to you the way I always do. Fair and unbiased. Some gonna like it. Some ain't, man. Y'all hit that like button before you go ahead and hit that like button up right now because I can't wait on you to hit it. Can't wait on you because ain't no telling how long we gonna get. And you might forget. <laughs> go ahead and hit that subscribe button and big salute to all my brothers and sisters down in the chat. Y'all don't forget to drop down in the comments as well. Hope everybody had a good week. Have, having a good weekend. You know, we about to get into some of that dog talk. You know what I'm saying? Let me do this before I start this thing off. You know what I'm saying? Let me get them links because we're going to be dropping them links for any brother that want to get up in, speak they dog, speak they dog talk tonight. You know what I'm saying? Because we had a lot of brothers voicing their opinion on Facebook. Er it's easier to get up here and talk. You know what I'm saying? So this is your chance, my brothers. You know, uh, like I said, big salute to all my bulldog lovers from one side of the world to the other side. We about to get into that thing tonight. Big salute to City Boy Kennels in the house. Mr. 216, George Smith, what's going on, big homie? Yaya, yeah, what's going on? What's going on? Salute to you. Salute to you. Hemi James, John Demery, salute to all my brothers and sisters down in the chat, man. Chainsaw P, what's going on with you? Dana Carson, salute to you. Salute to you. Legion's Fury. Big salute to Legion Fury for do uh, donating and supporting the channel, man. Big salute to you, and thanks, bro. Skip Bell, what's going on? What's going on? Yes, sir, we about to get into a little, little bit of that dog talk. I got some questions. I ain't got too much news tonight, but we got some dog talk. And like I say, let me drop this link for them brothers. Make sure. I'm going to drop it I'm gonna drop it several times for y'all brothers who want to Get up and do some dog chat. And homie the nanny dog, what's going on with your big homie? I know you're out there somewhere. You can come rock with me tonight if you want to. You know what I'm saying? I dropped a link down in the chat. You know, um, the first thing I want to talk about, you know, because we got a few things. It's going to get a little, little on that heated side in a minute. You know what I'm saying? But we got to wait and let these folk get up in this building. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Elma, what's going on with you tonight? <laughs> I dropped that link for you, Elma. Get your ass up in here. Nope. No, I don't want you in here. You ain't got nothing to talk about, though. But check it out, right? I seen one brother on Facebook. He asked, uh, he was talking about breeding the dog 13 years old. What, what brothers thought about breeding his male 13 years old, or could he breed it? 
Um, you know, uh, if the dog healthy, I mean, I believe you can breed it, man. I, I want to show you something though, real quick. This is a male that we had. I had rather not we. This is a male I had off of um. Uh, this is grand grandson of yellow. <clears throat> this is in 2012. And let me see. I know I got the picture up here. Got the picture up here. Give me, give me a second. Okay. This was in 2012. That's a uh, grandson of yellow. Coming down off toe jam. And he was 12 years old at that time right there. That's a, I want to say that's an Eli bitch right there that he stuck to. But he uh, toe jam on the top and, and Chinaman on the bottom. And that's a 12-year-old male right there. And he had like three, I know he had about three litters, you know, during the time when I had him doing this, because I only had him as an old dog, you know. I think I got him when he was about 11 or 12 years old. But that's when you know what a dog coming off of, you don't mind doing that. You know what I'm saying? You know? But uh, I just had to show you that, man, because I seen you talking about it. So if your dog healthy and your dog, you know, up to par, if he ain't healthy and he ain't up to par, he can be five years old and you ain't going to get shit off of. You know what I'm saying? It's all about keeping him healthy, keeping him looking like a young dog and acting like a young dog, at least acting like one. You know, and sky's the limit. Sky's the limit. Now, um, you know, I was talking about the uh, the five um, people, five uh, brothers who I think preserve their they family of dogs last time I got on live with y'all brothers. You know, and I'm going to start that, you know, we're going to start back off right there again as well. Now, I said, you know, one thing I do want to say, the, I think the Eli dogs are some of the most well-preserved by, by, by a, a lot of different brothers. See, if you really look at it, you see a lot of different dog brothers across the world, across the country. Not, I mean, I'm going to say world, I'm going to say across the country, you know, that's preserving their Eli dogs to the point where they line breeding. I'm talking about breeding Eli dogs back to Eli dogs, top and bottom. Same family of dogs, you know. That's why I, I, I made the statement what I made uh, on my last live about the Big John, the Garner, the Floyd, uh, Floyd, Mr. Floyd stuff. Um, and I and I said, uh, I forgot who else I said, but dog, um, dog yards like that where brothers preserve the line. But the Eli line is one of the most, if you really look around, out of all the bloodlines, I'm not saying they, they on everybody's yard, but what I am saying is a lot of people take focus on them dogs. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people focus on them Eli dogs and try to line, do, do they line breeding or however they going to breed them. You know, compared to the other lines, and then and then you got Red Boy. I'll say Red Boy. You know, will be next when it comes to brothers just straight focusing on strictly Red Boy. You know, you got a lot of brothers who got a lot of Red Boy dogs just strictly all through their pedigrees. You know what I'm saying? And and what I'm talking about is your name all through the pedigrees. You know what I'm saying? That means you took your time and bred them Red Boy dogs year after year after year after year after year. You know what I'm saying? Um, but boy, we got some stuff to talk about. Cause I want to talk about what it takes to make a bloodline tonight. But I gotta let some more people get up in here, or else I'm gonna have to repeat it again. Uh, you know, a little, little later. You know what it takes to make a bloodline. That's what we're gonna talk about in a little while too. You know, and, and see, I said I got on Facebook fucking with y'all boys today, saying um, Sambo versus Michael Myers. Sambo will take Michael Myers' ass out in ten minutes. Ten minutes at the most. I gave him. I said five to ten minutes. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day. I need to talk to the man who campaigned Michael Myers. I don't want to talk to no damn Buck City. I need to talk to the man who campaigned him. I can't talk to a man who ain't never seen the damn dog go. So it wasn't no, it wasn't no, uh, no diss to him or none of that shit. I'm talking to the man who ever campaigned the dog. I'm tired of talking to people who ain't, who, who get buying these dogs as champions. You know what I'm saying? And then y'all want to go get out there and talk about brothers who campaigned their dogs. So hold on, make sure I got that link down in there, cause them boys say that link disappear only, disappear every so often. I I, I would give them ten minutes, no, but 
You know, if somebody want to get up here, like I say, Bo versus Michael Myers, Eli Soul. Then we had a brother, Eli Soul, that got up there and said something about backyard this and backyard that and all kind of shit, talking about shit that don't make. He the one that got up there and typed that five, that five paragraph message. I just don't see how y'all brothers get typed that damn long. You might as well go open up a YouTube account and type your damn bank account information up in that motherfucker and all that shit. Bruce Banner, what's going on with you, fam? Salute to my folk, Bruce Banner out there, man. Yes, sir. Hard and finish, what's going on with you? Salute to all them folk out there in Nebraska, man. Yes, sir. Salute to all them folk out there in Nebraska. Big shout to all the Bulldog channels where we get this thing warmed up. All the Bulldog channels. You know what I'm saying? Um, Brother Fat Bill, uh, Dog Man TV, Going Hard. All them boys out there, man. Big salute out there to you. Keep doing y'all things. But at night, we, hey, it is what it is. Saturday Night Live. We got we to gotta go in, fam. You know? Um, Sam Boy Michael Myers. Can I get somebody up here that could, could tell me at least, could he stand it? Could he withstand the pain back in them days? You know what I'm saying? Hey, we talking about two finished dogs, two dogs that's deceased. But we can't get nobody to talk about that. We can only get somebody to do the name calling when my brothers and sisters out there, that's all they want to do, name calling and copying. Biting your style and name calling. You know what I'm saying? Biting you, because we're going to talk about magazines and all. Salute to my brother, yard boy out there. Because we're going to talk about magazines and all. You know, <laughs> one thing about it, PBK don't like to see my brothers drift off to the left. I don't like to see y'all drift off the left. I talk a lot of shit and say, yo, you got to, you know, make this move how you got to make this move. It's on you. But if I see you drifting off to the left sometime, you know, I, I'm going to say something about it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to say something about it. But we're going to get back to Michael Myers and Bo. I'm trying to wait for Buck to get up in here. Let me see. If you want to come, you ain't got to come if you don't want to come. But damn, stop letting them boys on your page and they talking about me. See, this is what I don't understand. These boys let these boys up on their pages and I don't even know them when they be saying, talking about the bird by the sea and all kind of shit like that. I don't know these folk. Tribune or Win Mune or, hey, I don't know you fam. I never said nothing about you a day in my damn life. Why the hell you keep mentioning me on everybody's show you get on? I don't, I don't, I don't know you, dog. I don't know you. I don't accidentally know you, dog. I didn't accidentally say your name. No, none of that. Why are you mentioning me? These brothers be talking about me and mentioning me for kicks and props. Listen here, y'all rappers. I'm, let me talk to my brothers at Conway. You know, I can put a lot of y'all on. You know, this, this, this pay me that damn, that damn advertisement money, and I can help you sell them records. I can help you sell them puppets. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. You can sit on them motherfuckers for a year, or you can kick out that hundred. $200 for this advertising, them bitches be gone in two weeks. You know, it is, it is what it is, man. You know, it is what it is. I'm trying to figure out why them folk be getting on everybody's channel. I ain't saying nothing about nobody. And you just want to keep talking about the bait. Keep saying little slick stuff. And like I said before, you got seven people on a damn panel and not near one of y'all got a family of damn dogs. What the hell is you mentioning the bay folk? You know, Why? <laughs> Let me drop that link down. I got to make sure I keep up with that link for them, boy. Because I don't want this to be a one-sided conversation. You know? This is, is what it is. They don't like to get up here and talk about some real shit. They want to get on somebody's channel where they can lie about a bunch of bullshit. All the old, the old schoolers, too. They, they, I done figured it out. They're a bunch of lying, lying jokers, too. I done caught a bunch of them in some lies. They don't want to take, the, take when they lose. They only want to take when they win. <laughs> if you heard it in the shoe fit, you can wear it. You know what I'm saying? It just is what it is. These motherfucking old schoolers going out here to these shows and then getting their ass kicked. Then they come out here bragging about shit and ain't telling about when they got their ass kicked. You know? It is, it is what it is. Salute to my fam in Nebraska again. Nebraska, we sure how we doing the Carolinas. South Carolina, that, that. Because them boys in North Carolina talk about they bulldog capital. But y'all ain't produced no old school bulldogs other than Tom Garner. <laughs> who else, y'all? Who else? Maybe Mr. Burns or somebody like that. I'm going to start repping the South Cat, man. You know, because I got some of my North Carolina brothers is, is some motherfucking haters. You know? You know, it just is what it is. I got to call it where I see it. You hit me up one day. <laughs> Next, man, let's hear. I ain't got time for all them, them baby games and all that stuff. We about to talk about some dogs tonight, man. 
And I represent South Cat. You know, shout out to my, my real North Carolina Bulldoggers. Because one thing about it, you never let a bad apple spoil it for everybody. Uncle Willie, what's going on with your big dog, Dickie Foster? Salute to you, fam. I see y'all brothers out there. Yes, sir. Got this old yellow grandson up here breeding with this uh, Eli, Eli um, bitch back in, that was back back in 11, I think. I want to say back in 11. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I was telling my, my brother about breeding the old dog. He was saying something about a 13-year-old dog, and I was just saying that's a 12-year-old one right there. You know? 12-year-old one right there. Now, let's see here. Uh, we got the, my opinion, the Eli brothers are preserving their dogs from back in the days. I don't know. You know, I'm just going by what I see from looking from the outside of the glass. Shout out to all my Missouri people out there, home of the nanny dog, everybody else. Hi, Keith Lee, everybody, man. Hi, Keith Lee ain't from Missouri. I just seen you down in the chat. Salute to you, fam. You know what I'm saying? Let's hear. Eli Soul say I'm a backyard of Facebooker. I don't even be on Facebook till it's time for me to advertise or post something for one big dog. I don't do all that talking on Facebook like a lot of y'all brothers. You know what I'm saying? And two, if I'm backyard, all y'all motherfuckers backyard. Every last one of y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about them brothers from the 90s. You know, I can't vouch for you with y'all, y'all young bucks doing because it's obviously a lot of y'all backyard. If you wasn't backyard, you wouldn't be on my show every other damn week. You know, you know how to handle your damn business. If you don't like to hear that shit, though, you know, you want to wake and bake early morning lie. You know what I'm saying? Like wake and bake early morning lie. You don't want to hear that real shit. Now, give me somebody up here who can vouch for Michael Myers' damn show so we can talk about Michael Myers and Sambo. Now, if Sambo a little too much for you, I can take it down to one of my other dogs, Nitro. Little Country was a full-timer that finished his last one off blind. Trial and error. What's going on, big homie? Tony M. Salute to you, fam. I can't never get these boys. Hey, listen, man. These boys always throwing rocks from a distance and never want to come up in politics. And some dude they got on their channel keep calling my damn name. And I clear, I don't know him. I never, I can't even pronounce his name right now. And I'm trying to damn figure out. You know, I know what I'm talking about, but I can't pronounce his damn name. So I know damn well I ain't been saying nothing about him. <laughs> y'all motherfuckers in the swamps, man. Y'all ain't got shit I want. You know? You ain't got shit I want, dog. I don't run the dogs you run. <laughs> I don't do the shit you do. I train dogs, you know? And I got my own line of game dogs. So I ain't looking for shit. So I mean, like, why is you even calling my name? I ain't getting in the way of your money. I ain't stopping your money unless I'm talking about steroids or unless I'm talking about some other shit. And, you know, I, I don't see why that would stop your money. You know what I'm saying? Don't see why that would stop it. But, yeah, let me get back to this thing, man. I think Eli dogs are preserved the best. I think Red Boy dogs are preserved the next. You not necessarily in that order. Red Boy and Eli are some of the best preserved by the brothers across the country. You know, when it comes to stepping to a brother yard and you'll find that he got that stuff bred up on his yard right. You know, um, not saying that all the other lines not good. The brother Epinet got some good dogs that he been running for a long time. You know what I'm saying? I think that's the Eli stuff as well. You know, so, he, you know, I got to throw him up in there. He been running his shit since back in the days. You know, a family, a, a family, you know, family dogs so i gotta get them brothers props or get that brother props and that family props you know what i'm saying um now i'm still waiting on brother buck to come up here because i'm trying to figure out, out of all the mayday dogs because see i got jd hall right and i look at his pedigree i know what's in there out of all them dogs that come from your boy mall cunt you, which one of them motherfuckers y'all made champion and didn't buy as a damn champion? See, y'all boys got to stop messing with people that's making dogs champions and y'all do nothing but buy champions. You know? It's a big difference, big dog. See, you fall in the bracket of the dudes with the money. You get all, got all the money so you think because you go buy a whole bunch of dogs, that puts you on a certain level. You know what I'm saying? But you ain't making these dogs no damn champions. It's a difference. When you make a dog a champion and you take pride in that line, you don't go out buying any and every damn dog. 
You know, when you make dogs champions, you're going to continue to run them strain of dogs. See, that's the difference between uh, what I'm trying to do and what some brothers trying to do to keep streaming my damn name on all these different platforms, you know? And one thing about it, I ain't going to diss the platform you're talking about me on. You know what I'm saying? Like half the platforms y'all talk about me on, we might be all right. We might be cool. And then y'all get up there and start talking sideways, try to throw them boys under the bus or this or that. Man, listen. Y'all need to stop talking about me and start showing y'all dogs what y'all need to start doing. You know what I'm saying? Stop talking about me and start showing them damn dogs. I invite Ram to come up here tonight. Ram, come on up here tonight. Tonight your night, buddy. Bring your ass on up here tonight. Let's talk some bulldogs. You can talk for Buck City. Now, when I call for you, brother, don't bring five or six motherfuckers with you. I ain't told them to come on up out here. I done told them, gave them time to come. Now, me and you could talk logical about some damn dogs. You know what I'm saying? I don't need five of y'all at one time. Y'all seem to don't only want to run the crews. It's just one little old me with, with a whole bunch of dog history. With all of y'all with no family of dogs. Y'all got old people in all in y'all group, and y'all ain't got not one family of damn dogs. Hot damn. Ain't that some shit? Old people at all. From the young ones to the old ones. Not one person got a family of dogs. But y'all... Can talk a whole, can talk that sly shit and go on them paid channels and all kind of shit. Talking about man, listen, I told you I ain't gonna do it. I'm gonna do a live broadcast on Facebook, YouTube. I got something to say about you. I'm gonna say say something about you, Eli Soul. I'm waiting for you to come up here. I'm dropping a link, like I said. You had a lot of stuff to talk about on Facebook. Now come up here and talk some dog talk. Talk about your dogs, fam. You know what I'm saying? You call me fam, I told you I want your fam. So since you call me fam, come up here and show me I'm fam. Talk about these dogs. You know, talk about your dogs. And I'm going to talk about mine. Since these boys can't talk about theirs, y'all can sell a whole lot of damn puppies, but y'all can't talk about all these champions in y'all damn pedigrees. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to know what you bought. I want to know what you made. You out here telling brothers how to keep condition and get this ready, get this right. And you ain't did none of that shit. You ain't no different than damn pro. Half y'all motherfuckers. Only difference Buck is from pro, you had more dogs than that man. You ain't had no action. You got a little more common sense, but really, both of y'all crazy as a motherfucker. Can't get none of y'all up here to talk about that. King Dutch, man, salute to you, big dog. You know what I'm saying? S salute to you, man. Motherfucker be getting on, getting on everybody's channel want to talk about me. And then when I drop the link for you, you won't even get up there and talk for your damn self. You need 10 people to talk. Couple weeks, you know, dropping all them, them, them hey, hey, I'm going to tell you like this here, man. I'm going to tell you like this here. Buck, you responded to my Facebook. Come respond to my YouTube. I, hear, I, I see you out there, bitch. I can see you. I know you're listening. Hey, any of them boys at Conway that got something to say about Pelican Bay, get your ass up here too and tell them what, what you got to say. <laughs> tell them what you got to say. You can't shit them to get up here and talk nothing about the Bay. I'll pull every last one of them car. You know, it is what it is. It is what it is. I'm talking about my city right now. I don't give a damn about all the other folk right now. I'm talking about my city. You got something to say about the Bay? Get your ass up here when I drop this link. And say what you got to say. And then we're going to see why. I ain't going to say that until we see what it is. Get your ass up here. You got something to say about the Bay? Stop doing all that, that back talking on the back street. And trying to, and trying to keep, your, keep your shit on the under. I'm going to bring that shit out. You trying to keep it on the under? You know? I'm going to tell folk what you're trying to hide. You know, it just is what it is. Stop all that, that sideways back talking and hating that shit. And, and while y'all doing that, I'm going to sit here burning me a damn hell. And we about to get into some more of this dog talk. You know what I'm saying? Full bike kennel. Appreciate that, big homie. I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? Now, we got Buck City talking about a magazine. Are y'all fucking kidding me? A magazine, who in the hell in their right mind going to give you any information to put their damn dog in a damn book and you can't even touch a damn dog? 
Boy, you about to be fool as hell. And the motherfuckers rolling with you about to be fool. Shout out to my man, Yard Boy. My man, Yard Boy. Shout out to Going Hard. Them boys got a magazine. Yard Boy got a magazine. And then we got a flunky over here trying to bite and steal. I tell you, all he do is bite and steal. Ever since you came back to the YouTube, all you've been doing is biting and stealing. But biting and stealing, you know? I don't know, man. Damn. Tell them boys over there in the LBDC you can give some damn creativity or something. You know, hey, 7 8, get that motherfucker some creativity or something, man. That motherfucker don't do nothing but bite and steal, dog. Bite and steal. Every damn week, every time I look at his channel, he biting and stealing somebody's shit. Full bite said, magazine full of pictures of dog shit. You got that right. Magazine, I tell you what, magazine full of shit, dog shit, dogs on one foot chains. Come on, Buck. Do y'all talking about Master Ball Bulldogs? I try to get Master Ball Bulldogs up here tonight. Master Ball Bulldogs, you up here? If you're looking at the video, I dropped a link coming up here. You ain't, I ain't talking no shit to you, fam. Get your rocks off on that puss, pussy ass motherfucker, Buck City, Pellet Gun Buck. He, they want to talk about you on their channel, you know? Talk about this, Master Ball Bulldogs. I ain't never seen your dogs in no shit like that, dog. You can say what you want about me. I'm going to say what I want about you. But I'm going to tell you right now, Master Ball Bulldogs, I ain't never seen your dogs in no shit like that. I ain't never seen you shoot no dogs with no pellet guns. You know what I'm saying? No, none of that. Period. You know? It just is what it is. When I seen your dogs, Master Ball Bulldogs, they might look mixed, but them bitches look healthy. I tell you that shit. You know? But hey. They somewhere in a little group right now. That's why Ram ain't came up here. I told him don't come. He can't come with five motherfuckers. That's the only way they roll. They don't roll by themselves. It, it needs three or four motherfuckers to come when they come. It takes three or four people just to, just to talk about one damn show. One damn match. It is what it is, man. Let me get back to my notes. Let me get back to my notes. Let me drop that link down in the chat before I get my notes so them boys can drop in. Oh, who never wanted to know you? You in the swamps. Like Chico say, like I'm saying, and you just want to be known, doing shit for clout. You kind of make me feel good. <laughs> Let me see that you got to talk about me. You know what I'm saying? It just is what it is. You don't talk about me, you ain't got shit else to talk about. When Mune or whoever the fuck you is, you want me to say your name? Tell him. Man, somebody tell that fool I don't know him. I only know them old school dog men like Garner and them boys and Fat Bill and them and, and Big John and Walk and them boys and, and Crenshaw and them boys. I mean, I don't know you, dog. Now, I got more of the damn Buck City crew in the damn chat, and I, and I can't get them in here. They only come up five at a time. We ain't doing fives tonight. I got to tell you what, if they come up here by fives, my boys who rocking with me, y'all come up here and get in their ass if they come up here in fives. You know, and like I say, the old ones too. Because it is what it is. You're riding with them, you're going to get that damn that lead when I'm coming looking for them. You know what I'm saying? That's how it is. <laughs> you want to you ain't got nothing to do with it. You better stay your ass on your page and stay away from Ronald. You know? It is what it is. Master Ball Bulldogs, they say you just started alive, man. Get your ass off that shit. You know you ain't got no damn views and bring your ass up over here, man. What the hell wrong with you, Master Ball Bulldogs? You know nobody watching that shit. Come up over here, dog. Hey, hey, hard finish. I ain't mad at Buck, dog. I ain't mad at him. And, and, and hard finish. Hey, big dog. I never took the first shot. You know, my whole thing was, I what what I did. But I, I, I soon realized a lot of brothers don't got sense. Every every brother got. So you can't talk some brothers certain ways. You know, <laughs> I looked at that brother shit that was on the on the on the um, like the YouTube thing. I mean, not the YouTube, the Google and all that. I seen where they did illegal shit. I seen how the drone and all that shit. That shit ain't legal. I post that shit on my video. 
Y'all jackasses, y'all can't see past go. <laughs> you can't see past go, so you're thinking, look at one way, look at one way, instead of him looking at, oh, this video saying, oh, I'm going to take that type of shit, and I'm going to take that knowledge, since I'm representing my damn self like a fool in here, I'm going to take that little bit of knowledge and try to, and try to work me something. <laughs> you know? But instead of, instead of him looking at it like that, he looked at it like I was going at him. So, it is what it is. Fuck him. You know? It is what it is. He ain't on my level. Fuck him. Simple as that. You ain't trying to do, he ain't trying to do shit good. He ain't trying to do shit right. All he out here doing is knocking motherfuckers and he ain't got a damn a, a piece of board to stand on. Like I said, he can't have a dog, period. He don't got a, a nothing to stand on. And you out here knocking brothers. I don't hate him. You know? He ain't got nothing for me to hate. Bro, what he got for me to hate? Period. Your YouTube ain't hitting on shit. Only time you got views is when you mention my damn name. Go check all the damn videos out and check the ones with my damn name in it and check the ones that he didn't put my name in it. What the fuck do, am I be, would I be mad at him for? You know, I'm mad at him because he can't get up here and talk about Michael Myers. That's what I'm, that, that's what I'm mad about. Listen here. One thing about it. We all done said shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I done told him I'll squash all kind of this. I said, yo, look, let's do some good shit together with the dog. Let's, let's, let's do some good shit together. I'm putting my shit at risk to fuck with his ass. You know what I'm saying? What the hell? Is, I'm putting everything I got at risk to fuck with a motherfucker that can't even have a dog. I said, yo, let's do some shit together. Good shit. They don't want to do that. They want to get on channels and lie about shit and talk about staff chives. Talk about some staffs and all some bullshit. Like I said, I ain't, when, I, when I was talking about Michael Myers, when I said Michael Myers and Sambo, it wasn't directed to Buck City because he ain't campaigned that bitch. So I went, I'm talking to whoever campaigned the dog. Get up here and talk some dog stories to me. You know what I'm saying? And like I say to his partner, who giving him all them damn dogs, which one of them damn dogs y'all campaign and didn't go buy as a damn champion? We ain't respecting you going buying that shit because we made our shit champions. That's why I said, you know, if you want to feel like I got a problem with a brother about that, so be it. It is what it is. You know, it is what it is. That link down there for anybody that want to represent for their crew, anybody that want to talk their dog talk or talk about their champion or talk about the dog that they got. You know what I'm saying? Period. That's what that link for. I sit back, be quiet. You tell your story about your dog. Nobody don't know who you is. You can't, nobody can't see your face up here. A lot of y'all just about typing. Just about typing. You know? It is, it is what it is, though. Like I say, ram the night your night, big dog. Walk him down. Walk me down tonight with some gang dog talk that you ain't got seven motherfuckers up here to ad live with you. You know what I'm saying? All right. Now, I'm going to ask y'all brothers down in the chat a question. Why if we got, okay, say we got a dog that's a one-time winner, right? He produced a grand champion. Everybody know that dog. Why everybody not going to breed to that grand champion? Why everybody going to go back and breed to the daddy of that grand champion? That's my question. Why is the majority of the opinions when you ask brothers today, they going back to the dog that made the grand champion. That's because you're going off the pedigrees. You're going off the papers. It ain't nowhere around it. Ain't nowhere to see it. It is what it is. If you want, you go to that champion or a grand champion dog, you know, because <laughs> isn't the old saying is every dog should produce better than them. So if, if the chances that this dog produced better than him, why the hell would you go backwards and go to the damn daddy to try to say, oh, I'm going to get what he came off of. I'm going to get the daddy dog. He didn't want to produce him. Y'all, you must forgot they say the, the dog's supposed to produce better. So you're taking a chance of getting a sorrier dog because he produced the grand champion. We, that's all that's part of jumping and chasing pedigrees, dog. Okay, scratch line news, say I'm wrong, you go to proven producer. A proven producer, you going by you going to the papers. See, I'm glad I'm getting my brothers up in here because it ain't even got deep yet. 
this 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 the topics I'm talking about tonight, we're gonna get deep because a lot of y'all brothers getting shifted the wrong way. You know what I'm saying? Getting shifted the wrong way. You got a dog that's a one-time winner, he produced a grand champion. Why the fuck is you breeding to that one-time winner? That means you're going by pedigrees. If you ain't going to the better damn dog, that means you don't believe a dog should produce better than himself. Because if you believe a dog should produce better than himself, why is you going to breed to the dog who's not the better dog? It don't make sense. You know what I'm saying? It don't make sense about no, being no producer. It's about breeding to the better dog. It ain't about whoever uh, he produces. Okay, now if you're talking about Dogs like Red Boy. Now, we're not talking about them. We're talking about a one-time winner that made a grand champion. You know what I'm saying? Instead of y'all going to that grand champion, you'll go to the dog that made the grand champion. Let me check my chat out down here with some of these brothers. Let me check the chat out, see what my brother's talking about. The boy say somebody don't got a pit down. Let me see. I'm just trying to figure out, man. You know, if y'all and see that that make that let a lot of y'all brothers know you don't think you're going off pedigree, but you're going off pedigree because you're going back to the daddy when you should be going to the better dog. You say you're breeding to the better dog. That's what it's about. The best dogs, right? The best dogs in your face, that grand champion. We ain't say the best producer. We say the best dog. See, a best producer can be a cold dog. You gonna still breed to him? A lot of y'all won't even find out here a good producer because he cold. A lot of y'all be knocking brothers because they don't touch their dogs. You say, oh, these dogs ain't tested. These dogs ain't none of this shit. But they're a hell of a fire producer. How can he even see a good producer? If you won't breed to him because he ain't tested. On Facebook, oh, the dog ain't got no scratches on him. He, 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 he ain't tested. He don't know this. He don't, how you going to know he's a good producer? <laughs> Only way you're going to know that, if you go back to the papers again, you're going back to the pedigrees again, looking at them pedigrees, oh, I want some of this. I want some of that. Breeding to the better dog. Breeding to the better dog. Michael Myers and Sambo don't belong in the same conversation. <laughs> Two different kind of dogs. You know what I'm saying? Two different kind of dogs. One, the man and I can talk my dog stories, but damn, we waiting to hear at least one Michael Myers story. Did he ever get tired and make a comeback? We all thought he was going to get beat down. Did he ever just shut dogs down? Did he shoot in the right ass in? Did he go chest? Was he a face dog? Was he a smart dog? You know what I'm saying? What? <laughs> your case over down what the fuck you acting like your shit's still going <laughs> that's what I'm talking about uh, what my brother had that made that comment earlier about me hating Buck right shit hard to finish shit this boy's supposed, he, he's supposed to be able to talk about some stuff we all say we ain't doing nothing are we talking about dogs from 20 some years ago? Oh, yeah. Brother George say, then again, I feel like a female is just important as a stud personally. That would school the results between individuals. Yeah. Hey, I, I, I did a video on that a little while ago, George. The female is the most misunderstood dog in these pedigrees we read today because all we give props to is the fucking males. You know what I'm saying? All we give props to is the males, unless it's some, you know, well, you no know, real famous female. Man, you can't find one person out there, Michael Myers. I can tell you what, I find somebody, I can get two people up here right now that Sambo done went into. Three. You ain't can't find me one person Michael Myers went into. Neither damn Bane X. I ain't forgot about him either. That's another one the flunky out there damn making up shit. Talking about people on the slide on the back streets. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.
D Worm. You know what I'm saying? D Worm, they do. I seen that on Facebook. How often you worm your dogs? You know what I'm saying? How often you worm your dogs? Some worm, hey, hey bro, I, I worm mine. I try to worm them every month. You know, I'm not going to sit here and say I never miss a month and nothing like that. But over period, over the last couple of years, I'm starting to find out a lot of brothers worm every three months. I've, I've even heard of veterinarians. I'm not sure if it's certain worm medicine or or what, but some brothers worm every three months. I guess you just got to check the medicine, talk to whoever you get the medicine from, you know, um, and just go by that part. And I guess it matters as far as the weather, what, what season it is, probably uh, where you got the dog at as far as landscape. Um, yeah, man, you can't, you can't lose every month as long as you don't go no longer than every three months. You know what I'm saying? Um, as long as you don't go no further than every three months. And then when you got dogs who don't eat their dog food a lot, they leave food in the bowl, don't eat it straight down, flies get on it, that's more chances the worms get in them. You know what I'm saying? When dogs b bite fleas off their back, if one flea get inside your dog mouth and that flea lives, then that's going to turn to a tapeworm. Okay, let me get the link for y'all, brothers. Let me get the link for y'all, brothers. We got... going on buck city man now i gave you a benefit of doubt you dropped something out in the chat talking about cops now i'm about to go off on you and your punk ass boy mo cut he all he do is buy champions he ain't made shit and motherfucker you ain't making shit all you do is keep dogs and shit that's why you don't get up here and talk about nothing you know what i'm saying <laughs> that's why you don't get up here and do nothing but talk about nothing you know buck city I'm taking like this, dog. Any way you want it, I give it to you. If you want me to kick your ass for free, I will kick your ass. All you gotta do is show up anywhere at Myrtle Beach, and I will roll down upon you, dog. If you want to fight for free, pull up anywhere with them folk that you be riding with. Any of y'all niggas from North Carolina, pull up, and I will give y'all some free smoke. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> free smoke. Stop all that talking, man. Stop all that talking. Buck City, boy, you don't need to talk about no cops, boy. You ain't even do damn two months off a of ten month bid. The hell you talking about? Them folk done, <laughs> Buck City. Hit that link, dog. Come up here and talk, fam. <laughs> Come up here. It's easier to text, ain't it? Y'all go watch his Wake and Bake in the morning. He'll have me on it. Nah, Buck City, I don't want to fight. I'm, I'll piss on your punk ass, nigga. <laughs> That's how I feel about you. Real dogs piss on motherfuckers like you. And you, until you tell me, get you or my punk ass up here and tell me something about them Michael Myers. You know, and Hog. You know what I'm saying? We want to know about Hog and all the motherfuckers them boys talking about. We want to know about that copper paper, all that shit from all cut. You know, that's what we want to know from him. We want to know why he, we, why brothers can't get their papers when they deal with my cut. That's what we want to know about him from him. You know, since you want to get up here and talk that talk, Buck City, you know, <laughs> boy, let's hear. Yeah, Buck City, Buck City. Big dog. Oh, man, like I said before, you think I'll be biting my tongue from the young to the old ones? Everybody that be on your channel, not one of them got a family of dogs. And, he, and I, I dropped a link for that. Bring me an old motherfucker that be on your channel that got a family of dogs. They want to get up here and talk tonight. <laughs> we ain't with all that, 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 that lying stuff, you know. <laughs> Buck City, listen here, dog. If you ain't going to come up here, I'm just going to boot you out the chat. I'm going to tell you now. I'm going to boot you out the chat if you ain't going to come up here. Yeah, Buck can talk about everybody grand champion besides his, Michael Myers. Boy, you ain't even seen a, 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 a face lock on that motherfucker. You ain't seen a chest lock on that bitch. All that shit you been damn advertising on Michael Myers, and them folk think you was scrapping that bitch. 
Man, you, you mean to tell me you took a whole charge about a dog you ain't even touched before? You should have told that you represent your fucking self. You should have told them folk, I ain't never touched this damn dog. I was lying. Hard right, finish. You talking more than Buck City talk. Come up here and talk for them then. I'm speaking facts, big homie. What, I, what have I said that wasn't facts? Hard right, finish. And I'm going to stand on it. I ain't, I ain't going to type it. I'm going to talk about it. What have I said that wasn't facts? What, that, tonight, mall cut selling people dogs with no papers? That ain't right? Facts. Buck City ain't shit? Facts. What? What else? You know, Michael Myers, he, he, he never seen Michael Myers bite a fucking flea? Facts. What else? What you, what you, what you, what? You, what? <laughs> oh, I tell you, man, y'all boys used to being lied to. That's why you got to stay on Buck Channel with that shit. You know what I'm saying? It just is what it is. And with the rest of them old ass, lying ass dog men, rubbing their ass down dog men, I'm saving your ass, keeping brothers off your ass when they talking about you rubbing, and they want to take your losses and all kind of shit. Damn them old school motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, if a motherfucker mention my name, talking shit, and all y'all on the same channel, I'm riding on all y'all. I don't give a damn if you ain't say nothing or not. You better stay off the channel with all them buck-talking-ass motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's what it is. You know? Now, this question we want to get in right here, because I think I got, I got enough people up in here. You know? You know, we got enough people up in here. What it takes to start a bloodline? What it takes to start a bloodline? Buck City bragging about all that damn money and had them dogs and all that shit and them little cheap ass crates in that damn in that damn storage room, boy. Yep, another episode of cops, especially when you got Buck City and the whole damn state of Washington, Oregon, or whatever the hell he got coming following up in Pelican Bay chat. You know, it just is what it is, dog. You don't think you got all the tree huggers and everybody following you to my chat right now? You know, you got everybody following you from your state. All them tree huggers, all them, uh, them, them damn government officials, all them police that watch your channel, all that shit, they follow you to my channel. And you know what you be doing. That's why you bring your ass over here. And like I said before, you know, however y'all want to do it. I ain't going to boot them out, dog. I ain't going to boot them out. Uh, live your life. What's going on with you? I ain't going to boot them out, though, dog. Skip Bell. Yes, sir. Motherfucker fresh off a motherfucker dog shit scared to talk about a dog that's supposed to been dead years ago and he and his shit over and he up here talking about a damn cops, cops, cops. Listen here, man. I'm talking to you and them pussy ass niggas in Conway. You know what I'm saying? And them pussy ass niggas in North Carolina. You know what I'm saying? You got something to say about the bay. Bring your ass up here and I'ma unfold your whole history up here live tonight. Conway, I'ma unfold your history up here live tonight. You know what I'm saying? It is, it is what it is, man. Y'all boy do a lot of a lot of that backstreet talking and can't back y'all shit up. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. You know? Stop all that talking. What it takes to make a bloodline. Tell me what it takes. My brother DC, my brother DC Logan say four gens. And I'm glad he gave me that answer. DC Logan, you gave me the perfect answer, big dog. For the for the for the what I'm about to say. The perfect fucking answer. Everybody got their own opinion. And I'm just about to break down some more facts for you. You know what I'm saying? Because brothers only want facts. I'm going to break some facts down for you. What it takes to make your own bloodline. One generation, two generations, three generations. You getting the dog what? What it takes to get your own bloodline. Buck City, boy, stay on here long. I got to kick Buck City off about 10 minutes so I can get my damn content off without him stealing it, brothers. You know what I'm saying? It is, it is what it is, man. Hey, what it takes to make your own bloodline. Bug City, them, every time you come up, boy, I'm going to scream mall cut name over and over and over, son. All you're doing is making it, about to make it hot for him, boy. I promise you, boy. Say what you want to say. You ain't got no fucking dogs. You know what I'm saying? You can't have none. I promise you. I'll give you $1,000 you come up here and show. You take a picture of one and I'll take a picture of one. I'll give you $1,000 cash, pussy ass boy. <laughs> hot damn. I bet you that made you mad, didn't it? You know what I'm saying? Like I say. Long as you don't come up here and talk, you stay down in my chat, 
I'm going to keep screaming Maul Cut name because he's right here fucking people over with these damn dogs running to Tom Garner. You know what I'm saying? Running to Tom Garner because Tom Garner ain't checking his damn papers. Tom, Gar Tom Garner got them kind of papers. T me and Tom Garner is on the same fucking level when it comes to papers. Both of us, I'm just starting. he been starting before. He can get recognized by bona fide. You know, it is, it is what it is. Buck City going to jail, like the like bro said in the chat. He going to jail and he taking everybody down with him. You know, and, and because I get up here and say something about it, they want to say all kind of shit to me. It is what it is. But them boys say four generations. Now, my brother's down in the chat. I beg the damn differ on that. I beg the differ. I'm going to tell you why my brother's down in the chat. I'm only going to go off of facts. Why it don't take four generations to make you a fucking bloodline? What about G? What about G? Mr. Crenshaw, <laughs> he didn't breed them, did he? He didn't breed Jeep, did he? <laughs> oh, no, Jeep didn't. Jeep didn't have to make a whole bunch of dogs before he had a bloodline. Jeep had a bloodline from the time he was a fucking champion. How about Red Boy? Y'all can't find me a... a, 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 a Find me a pedigree on anybody yard. I'll give you a fucking thousand dollars right now. They got Ronnie Bass name in it other than Red Boy. Other than Red Boy. So you can't. Ronnie Bass didn't breed Red Boy and get a whole bunch of yard full of Red Boy dogs for y'all to call that bloodline Red Boy. Y'all calling that shit Red Boy or the strength of Red Boy. Jeep. Crenshaw. Name not in Jeep. Sire name. Name not in Jeep. Damn name. Crenshaw made Jeep a name. See what you got to do, brothers? Chinaman. Garner didn't breed him, right? <laughs> but a lot of brothers damn sure ain't no Chinaman. And Chinaman is officially known as Garner Dog. You know? Known as Garner Dog. You got to make names for your dogs. You get a, say, okay, boom, you get a dog from me. Yeah, I bred a dog. You, you make a name for that dog. You know, you make a fucking name for that dog. That's your bloodline. That's your line. You know, if you want to look at it like the four gene thing, yeah, you can do all that shit. What about Mayday? How about Mayday then? Tell me about Mayday. How the fuck Mayday get to be a lion? <laughs> Cause Victor didn't breed him. <laughs> he damn sure ain't come off of, and he damn sure didn't wait till he get a yard of the motherfucker started. <laughs> he damn sure ain't get a yard of Mayday dogs before y'all was called them Mayday dogs. So tell me, what it takes to make a lion? Because these brothers in the 90s, they started their line off one damn dog that they got from these brothers. They, they made that one dog OG in the dog game. And from that dog being an OG in the dog game, they, they, that dog became a lion. You know, they didn't wait for no them. They didn't even wait for the dog to get bred across the country, let alone make their own dogs on the yard. And like I said right now, if you can find a pedigree, they got Mr. Ronnie Bass name in it outside of the Red Boy dog. He the one had Red Boy. So if he was trying to create a bloodline, it would be Bass's not, okay, no, no, I'm going to take that back because them boys will go find Cleo and some other shit like that. No, listen, find me a pedigree full of dogs come off a of Bass yard. Bass didn't breed Red Boy. He bred Red Boy for himself, you know. Y'all call Red Boy a lion off of the strength of what, just off of the old school shit, you know what I'm saying? You know, just off of the old school stuff, what it takes to make a line. So C James Crenshaw started Jeep without making a breeding all um, four generations. He ain't created Jeep. Okay, what about Jocko? <laughs> uh, Mr. Chavis ain't created Jocko, did he? Jocko needed four generations? Hold up, Jocko didn't need four generations because we had Jocko dogs that, that had Jocko in the third generation. So how the hell, you know, how the hell y'all got to wait four generations, but brothers back in the 90s and then brothers in the 80s that were really bulldogging, they weren't using the pedigrees and the papers and all that other shit. They didn't have to wait four generations, you know. Buck City, man. Listen, listen, I'm about to really boot you because you a child, dog. You a child. You ignorant. You won't come up here and talk. You a bitch. And everybody around you roll with you bitches. You know what I'm saying? So I'm about to boot you out my shit. You know what I'm saying? You ain't worth shit. You don't got shit that I want. You know what I'm saying? Like I said before, all you're doing is making mall cut hot. 
Because every time I see your punk pussy ass name drop down in my chat, I'm saying that motherfucker name. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. You know, it is what it is. Take your dog shit ass back over to Oregon because we don't need that shit over here on the East Coast. You know, it is, is what it is. Fuck you, punk. I'll be that. I call for Ram. He didn't come. I told you y'all take five motherfuckers for y'all start talking. Just like bitches. You know, I know bitches like that around here at Conway. Take five or six, seven motherfuckers before they open up their mouth. You know what I'm saying? It is, is what it is. You know, I'm a one man motherfucking army. You know, here's what it is, dog. Little Rock, salute to you. Salute to you out there, big homie. We got these brothers out here who bind these champions, and they ain't made a champion. Buck City ain't made a champion. Mall Cunt, you buy champions. You don't make, you don't, you never made champions back in the days. I was making champions while you was playing football, big dog. You was going to college playing football. I was bulldogging, homie. You know? <laughs> so y'all better take that shit somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? Here this is what it is. Your boy, Buck, gonna get you in some shit. And I ain't talking about with no, in no trouble. I'm talking about the night. You know? When you was bull, when you was playing football and catching and, and, and catching passes through the middle, I was in that box in that square with a yellow dog, homie. You know, I only know what Buck City was at. He probably couldn't even fucking come out the yard or some shit then. You know, it is, is what it is, though. Let me drop that link again. Make sure Buck don't have no excuse, cause all he gonna do is get up and start his little channel, start his page up tomorrow talking about me. for me to come up there and I don't he know he ain't gonna come because he can't talk about Michael Myers I don't want to talk to him because I know he didn't I know he didn't campaign Michael Myers now I want to ask Maul Cunt why the hell he's shitting people with these damn dogs and, and getting their damn papers that's what I want to know and I ain't talking about me I'm talking about Brothers across the country. Why is you running the to town Garner when you got 80 big bread dogs? Why the hell is you going from the Mercedes Benz and the Beamers and the Jaguars and going to a Pinto? Tell me that is what I'm trying to figure out. All right, then. Better tell Buck City to keep his ass out my chat. I'm going to keep going all night long. I'm going to keep going all night long. You know, tell Buck City to get his ass up here and talk. Since we want to talk that talk, tell us why he sold all them boys across the country, Michael Myers' dog, and they never seen Michael Myers touch a damn a cat. Mo Cunt, did you even see Michael Myers get campaign? You know? And why that Rockwaller dog came off your dog, Mo Cunt? It's what I want to know. Why that boy from down, down at the bottom down there? Why my man down in the bottom got them Rockwaller dogs off your hog dog, Maul Cunt? How that happen? See, long as Buck City keep popping up in my chat, I'm going to keep going. How them Rockwaller dogs came up, um, Maul Cunt? And you talking about that going back to the bolio? No, man. No. We done bred that shit five or six, seven times. Brother and sister breeding. Sister, my man Marcel just bred little mate brother and sister. We ain't came off with a damn funny color dog yet. We can't even get a brown one with a black mask. Same color hardwood. I don't see Buck City. His ass must be curved out. Hey, big salute to going hard in them boys. Cause I heard it's a, it's a dude that be on his channel to be talking shit about me, saying my name and all kind of shit. One thing about it, big salute to them brothers, man. You know, I, I, I'm going to be on that basketball tonight. I ain't fucking with that COD. You know, big salute to them brothers, big salute to all them dog channels, man, because y'all trying to do something. <laughs> and these, these brothers that jumping up here on and want to ride, ride dick and talk about this. and Man, listen, I know Supreme Excellence more than I know that dude. I know Bruce Banner down in the chat more than I know him. Skip Bell. Now, Skip Bell, I may have seen you in my my uh, my joint before, but tonight, I just remember your name tonight. And I know you more than I know that dude who's screaming my name. <laughs> I don't know that fool, man, the one that's talking about the bird by the, by the sea. The bird by the sea. <laughs> man, I, man, I don't know him, man. 
You, you, you might be just, you, hey, I don't know, though. These brothers different these days. But tell me what it takes to make a bloodline. Because if it takes four generations, how the hell Crenshaw got Jeep? How Bass got Red Boy? How Mr. Chavis got Jocko? How Garner got Chinaman? How all these brothers got made? How the brother got made? How all these dogs became lions without four generations of dogs on their yard, on Victor Yard, on Garner Yard, on Bass Yard, on Mr. Crenshaw Yard, directly off Jeep before he start calling that shit with a line? But y'all brothers, y'all the ones, the only ones do that. You know? Y'all, hey. Hey, this here, Buck City, I don't give a damn how many more times you keep coming up in my chat. Every time you come up in here, I'm going off on your boy Mo, come with them rock ballers and them dogs that he taking the time gone up because he rigging up papers on them. You know, them boys tired of that Air Force shit too, Mo, cut. They tired of that Air Force shit too. You know, you got to get all that shit together. Grand Champion Air Force, stop selling people dogs off of them if you ain't got the papers to them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Buck City, keep, come on, Buck City. Keep coming to my chat down there. We'll get them all cut up in a minute to talk. We'll get them up in a minute to talk for himself. I got a box of fucking blunts. So I'm going to go sell them now tonight. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even got to my curriculum yet. You know? I told you, man, I was I was chilling because I had some personal stuff going on last couple of weeks. You know, y'all want to talk all that, talk all that, talk all that. Yeah, yeah, it is what it is now. You know? And like I told you, from my city... To where you at right now? I I feel like I feel everything I said tonight. It is what it is, you know. It is what it is. You already know how I'm getting down. Ag test. I feel you on that, big dog. You're 100 right. You know what I'm saying? The thing about it, dog. I gotta give them some smoke at least one night. If they're gonna use me, if they're gonna talk about me and say a little sly stuff, I gotta give them some smoke. You know what I'm saying? They ain't even got no damn channel. You know, ain't got no damn channel. And them boys, see, this is the thing. Let me explain to y'all what monetization is, right? Y'all know what monetization is when you're getting paid, you know? Because see, these brothers like to get up and do a whole bunch of capping and all kind of bullshit, right? See, you can be monetized two years ago, right? But if you ain't been making shit, your shit got demonetized, which means you got to start all back over again, do the same damn thing you did from day one. You know what I'm saying? So don't let these brothers fool you like, oh, because I was monetized then, I'm my, man, listen, that's why, he, that's why they keep saying my name. He think that's the quickest way to monetization. But if you're going to say my name, I'm going to make it cost you tonight, buddy. Like I said, Maul Cunt, them boys say, why you keep breeding Alpo? You know what I'm saying? They say, uh, why you breeding them with no papers? And how that Rockwaller come off a hog when you breed them back to one of hog daughters? And Buck City, you are Maul Cunt. Which one of y'all can tell us about Michael Myers? Can anybody who went against Michael Myers come up here tonight? Forget them. No. Anybody who went against Michael Myers, who Michael Myers stopped, I'll drop the link down for this so you can come up in the chat and talk to me tonight. I'll get brothers up here who went against Sambo. You know? Eli Soul. That brother who's on Facebook, Eli Soul. Where you at? You typed me five paragraphs on Facebook, told me I was a Facebook and a backyarder. I told you didn't have no dogs, fam. I, I see folk like you every day. No dogs, but want to down another brother. <laughs> hey, it is what it is, man. Like I told you, it don't take seven of me. It don't take seven of me to make one little subliminal. It gets it, seven of y'all to say one little sneaky little comment. Yeah, hey, G Tess, you right, big dog. I done told him you better go to Sam Nate and get some content. Let, let them boys take you to a creation school, content creation school, so you can learn how to stop stealing. Now, we're talking about what it takes to start your own bloodline. I need somebody to explain to me. Why it take four generations if Mr. Crenshaw did it with Jeep? Why it take four generations if Mr. Chavis Jocko, Mr. Chavis did it with Jocko? Why it take four generations if Mr. Garner did it with Chinaman? It take four generations with y'all, though. <laughs> 
Hey, it is what it is, man. Y'all different. I tell y'all, y'all different. Take pride in being different, big dogs. You know, y'all from a different era. But hey, I just can't ride with that shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if I sell you a damn dog, you take that dog out and make him that shit. You don't got to breed him nothing on your yard. Breed him to everybody else, dog. That's a fucking line. Once that dog becomes the shit, puppies don't make him the shit. He got, he was made the shit. You know, y'all that 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 dog that that brought that uh, um dark dynasty got he he not the shit because of his puppies. He the shit because of him. Made ain't the shit because of him. All them dogs that's the shit is the shit because of them. Not none of they damn puppies. Red boy the shit because of him. Yeah, they say he can produce good. They say he's a, a good producer. But hell, when have we got another Red Boy since Red Boy? <laughs> have we produced, have Red Boy produced at least one more Red Boy in the last 40 years? Since he's such a good producer? You know, salute everybody that's down in the chat, man. Don't forget to hit that like button up. We waiting for these clowns to come up in here tonight, you know? Buck City, every time he drop down in my chat, I'm on my kind of ass, you know? And like I told all the motherfuckers that's rolling together. Seven motherfucking old ass niggas on a panel with not one family of dogs. Salute my folk, my folk going hard kennels in the, in the damn building. You know what I'm saying? Salute the going hard kennels in the building. Not one, not two, but one and two. Mo and Mike. Salute to both of them boys. You know what I'm saying? Hey, this is what it is, dog. You know, it is what it is, man. Talk a little bit of bulldog talk tonight. You know, the boys will try to catch you when, you, when you're down and when you got other things going on. They try to kick you and all kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, I'm waiting on Buck City to come up here and tell us about Michael Myers that we know he ain't seen campaign. All I want to know, Buck City, if you ever, if you ever seen that bitch, Buck City, was she even there when he was campaigning? Did you see that bitch come from between that dude's legs who had the dog? Buck City. That's all I want to know. Did you see that bitch even scratch, Buck City? Fuck no. And you're right here talking about a damn champion you got from all cut, and all he do is buy champions. <laughs> Tell me a champion all cut made. And like I said, I was bulldogging when he was playing football and going to school. <laughs> and I don't want to hear about all that up-to-date shit. I'm talking about back in the damn days. I ain't want to hear about no Kamal Cut bought some losers. Chico Lopez in the sporting dog journal with a with a dog that lost with a loco. Uh, one of them dogs named Start L. Chico Lopez in the journal, the dog is a loser. Maul Cut, you got in my head as a damn stud. And I read the shit in the journal. You know what I'm saying? Come on now, how you do that? What they do that at? Take people out, losers, and stud them out here the, to the public, to these folk out here. You know? Where they do that at, Maul Cut? Keep Buck City out my chat, no? I'm going to keep going. I ain't stopping. I got something all night. I'm going seven hours tonight. I'm telling you. I'm going to put, uh, hey, I tell you what, you think, I ain't, you think I'm bullshitting? I'm going to go chill, take me a nap, and then leaving this motherfucker on live and getting back on this bitch. Buck City, every time you jump up in my shit, I'm going off on your boy, Mo Cunt. Chico Lopez done kick you to the curve. Now you're running over there to Tom Garner. Patty not even fucking with you no more. What's going on, Mo Cunt? Y'all can't keep screwing folk and keep running and think you're going to screw folk and run to the next man. Think you're going to screw folk. You know, you're learning from Buck City. You're supposed to know better than that, Mo Cunt. You're learning from Buck City. You're supposed to be teaching him. But instead, he's teaching you how to be grimy and a fuck boy. Sold that man down there in the sold that man down there in the NO, that damn rock while dog. You know damn well, Maul Cunt. Something stuck to that damn dog on your damn yard, Maul Cunt. You know that, dog. You know something stuck that man hog dog when he bred that hog dog. You know what I'm saying? But instead of you keeping it real with that man, Maul Cunt, you let that man come out here to the public and advertise that shit and try to give him some sorry ass excuse and make that man look stupid. You know what I'm saying? But nah, fuck that. It wasn't that man's fault. It was your fault for lying to that damn man. You know what I'm saying? Keep Buck City out my chat. I'm going all night. You know, I'm just getting warmed up. Yes, sir, man. Salute all my brothers out there. Summarize. Salute to you too, fam. I don't know if I shot you a shout out tonight. Hey, Fat Farm Ray. Daylight saving time about to change. Big dog is about to get hot. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
I don't know if it's changing on the West Coast. There ain't no West Coast type shit. That's East Coast and down South type shit. No disrespect to my West Coast brothers. I'm talking to Oregon tonight, Washington, wherever you're from, Seattle. <laughs> hey, man. Bug City, man. Let me drop this damn link down in that chat one more time, man. I don't want nobody to come now, boy. All that other hog and boomer. How the hell hog and boomer throw off a rock while a colored dog? Explain to me that. All you got is hog and boomer in the whole pedigree. Now, pro saying the dog off copper. I be trying to back all that shit up. I know the dog ain't off copper. I know the dog got stuck to another dog on the yard, but you won't keep it a hundred with brothers. You rather let a lie keep going, keep going, keep getting bigger, keep getting bigger, keep getting bigger. And you ain't produced not near one rock while the color of hog since that boy produced that one rock while the color. You even stopped breeding hog. How the hell you got an eight time win over there at your house and you don't breed them? Oh my goodness. You mean to tell me all them dogs you bought from different across the country, mall, from across the world, they better than the eight-time winner that you got? You won't even breed them? You ain't studying this motherfucker out? Studying the nuts off this bitch eight-time winner? We ain't got so many eight-time winners. We got Tornado them. We got, we got some dogs that made it to that level. We ain't got but so many dogs that reach eight, nine, ten. And you mean to tell me you got them on the back shelf? Oh, man. I wonder if I can get Chico up here tonight. What will he say about it, Maul Cunt? Nah, you better keep Buck City out my chat or I'm going to go all night, like I said. Because I got my own dogs. I don't need your shit. You know, like I've been saying. You know what I'm saying? Buck City, where you at, dog? Ram, welcome down, Ram. You welcome up here tonight, dog. We're going to do comedy hour off your staff of shy ass. Mr. Welcome Down. Comedy, comedy hour tonight on Welcome Down Ram. Come on, Ram. Give me 30 minutes, big dog. Give me 30 minutes of comedy. <laughs> oh, shit. And they tell me they going live in an hour. Man, listen, I'll give a damn. Only time they get views when they mention the Bay name. Now, I seen one brother. I'm going to get back to little dog talk, and we're going to get back to them brothers. <laughs> hey, brother asks about Parvo. How you treat Parvo and puppies? Okay, my brother. You know, first thing, I ain't a, I ain't a doctor. You know what I'm saying? I ain't a doctor, just like everybody else. You got some doctors out there, but I ain't a doctor. First thing I will say is, if I see a dog that I, you know, I got a little puppies, and I see one that's looking like he may have Parvo or she may have Parvo, first thing I'm going to do, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna, I'm gonna separate it, you know. But I'm, a, I'm a, Hopefully, I can be certain. But you know, with puppies, that shit strike, man. It, it happens so fast, you really can't, you know what I'm saying. But I'm gonna separate it. Try to keep it hydrated. And when it comes to Parvo dog, the vet can't even really help you. They don't really have no real, real remedy for Parvo. When you go in there, they treat you like you got Ebola and all kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? If you can last for a week. Like like City Boy say IV, you know what I'm saying? Some brothers know how to do that stuff. If you can, if you can make, you know, the puppies, they go, they die fast. The bigger dogs, they can last a little longer. But the puppies, you won't have time enough. You might have time enough to do IV, but the puppies, you might not even be able to find the damn things. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no damn telling. But uh you just gotta keep them hydrated, man. And if you take them to the vet. They're going to charge you $5,000 to treat your dog with Parvo, and they ain't going to do nothing that more than you, what you can do home. You know what I'm saying? There is no cure for that shit. It's only keeping your dog hydrated. Once your dog catch Parvo one time, he'll never catch it again is what the word is. You know, once he catch Parvo one time, he'll never catch it again like chicken pox. You know what I'm saying? It's just like being vaccinated. If you ever get your dog back healthy from Parvo, word is he'll never catch it again. Yes, sir. Salute to you, Bruce Banner, man. You have a great night. I'm glad you rock with me tonight, big dog. If anything change, you know, I, I tell you to check the live out tomorrow if we can get them clowns up here to talk about some dogs. I see them boys must have called Buck City told them to stop coming up in my chat. 
More come with them Rockwallers. You know what I'm saying? More come with the Rockwallers. Buck City with the dogs, he ain't match. He ain't did no. Oh, he back. He back. I guess I'm going back in on my kind of ass again. I told you. Woo. I don't know what I'm going to do with him, Dickie Foster. Let me light my blood up first. Now, I could be wrong about the four generation brothers. You know what I'm saying? I could be wrong. But I'm just saying, if I'm wrong, does that mean them brothers from the 90s and the 80s? <laughs> they shit y'all. They ain't shit y'all like gave y'all something y'all didn't want. You know what I'm saying? They just, they started their own line. They jumped the, they jumped the line. You know? If they need four generations, Mr. Crenshaw damn sure ain't waiting no four generations on Jeep. Bass ain't wait four generations on Red Boy. Neither Mr. Chavis, like I said. Hell yeah, boy. Brother said a mouthful down in the chat. You want to stay free? You talking about a buck, a buck city kennel magazine? Listen, man, all that is something he done bit somebody else shit he done been looking at. Or somebody done told him something, now he biting it. You know what I'm saying? Now he biting it. Buck city, man, We write, I'm writing books over here with no pictures in it. You going to have a magazine with no writing in it. Number pictures like my man down in the chat say straight pictures. <laughs> And it's going to be number head shots because it can't be your yard because we already know we've got ground shots. There's going to be a bunch of shit in the video. Treeport in the building. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Treeport in the building. Now, now y'all boys keep mentioning my name on them other channels. Y'all need to come up here on my channel and just do a regular interview. You'd be better off. Everybody that came up here and rock with me, that <laughs> chilling and doing their damn thing. You know what I'm saying? Chilling and doing their thing. Some reason y'all think when y'all get on the other channels and get up there and talk about me, talk shit, like y'all gonna y'all gonna get enough clout to start y'all page up, and all y'all gotta do is come do a damn interview over here with me. You ain't gotta even start no habit. Come do the damn interview and then or even rock with me for a week. Rock with me for a week doing the shows. And then go do your shit. I ain't no hater, dog. You know what I'm saying? You ain't even got to talk no shit to nobody. When you rock up here rocking with me and I get to talking to shit like I'm doing now, I tell you, dog, just sit back, chill. You ain't got nothing to do with this. I got this. You know what I'm saying? No, you ain't got to diss me. And then when you leave or whenever you go do your own thing, dog, you, you be straight. Right now, you ain't going to be straight. And I'm just going to talk shit about you. Like the dude Windmule. I don't know nothing about that dude. I, you know, I never said nothing about that dude. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, let me see, man. Let me get back to my, my, uh, my, my, uh, my, my script. Check it out, right? One brother says, uh, um, can again, a great hog hunting dog be great in the pit as well? I'm going to say, yeah, but I'm going to say, no. I'm going to say both of them. You got to be careful. No. Nope. Cause I know how I know great pit bulls that was great hog hunters that were cur dogs. You know what I'm saying? And I don't mean like they curred out. I mean they were dogs that uh they was just below average. Excuse me, they was just below average. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, 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 another breed of dog might just come rough them up or something. You know what I'm saying? I don't think you could really equate one with the other. You know what I'm saying? It, it need to be something that you see. Don't let a brother tell you, oh, he was a good hog hunter. You take him to the box. Now he doing this. He was doing that. You have to see that. You know what I'm saying? See, I tell you like this here, my, my bro. You have a better chance of taking the one from the box to the woods than trying to bring that one that you got trained in the woods to the box. You know what I'm saying? Because in the woods, he got, it's a whole different, it's a whole different kind of ball game out there. He going against a, a three, four, five, six, seven, eight, thousand pound hog with tusks in their fucking head dog you know what i'm saying in that box he going straight forward with that bulldog in the woods that hog would have that motherfucker peeling out running if he try to go go and do that shit he doing them bulldogs you know or he'll be dead in, in a quick jippy he got to be a whole lot smarter in the woods you know how how brothers say 
the, the wild animals, the wolves, the bears, the coyotes, when they fight, they don't fight to death. They fight to one wind and the other one break off running because they don't got no doctors to go to. You know what I'm saying? They don't got no doctors or none of that to go to. You know, so when your dog be trained to hunt the hogs, he's a smart dog. He knows how to catch hogs. Even if it's a bay dog, even if you got bay dogs out there and you got that one pit bull that you're taking, if you took him more than one time, he's going to pick that up. He's going to start learning how to do this, how to maneuver his legs, how to dodge out the way when the hogs start getting rough. You know what I'm saying? When that pit bull, he's going to stay going forward. That hog will dump his ass in the damn water. He ain't going to want to go through that over and over and over. You know, so he's going to build up a different type of smartness going against that hog that he ain't going to really get with the pit bull. Now, I had a dog named Hog Catcher back in the days. I bought him from the brothers down there with Claude, Mr. Claude Puckett was at. You know what I'm saying? I bought him from them brothers. He was a hog dog. I took him to the pit bull game. You know what he did, bro? You know what he did? Straight ear dog. That's all he fucking did. Straight ear dog. You know what I'm saying? That's all he was supposed to do with the hog, right? Grab him by the ear. Hold him. Hold him till the man get there. If you know anything about hog hunting, you either hold him till the man get there to tie the dog, the hog legs up to, to cut the throat, or however you're going to do it, put him in the, to save him, to keep him, however you're going to do it. But, you know, it's not none of that with y'all looking at hog hunting like, oh, the pit bull getting in his throat. Oh, the pit bull going in the ass in. Oh, the pit bull doing all that shit he do to that dog. Man, listen, man, that hog would destroy that pit bull out there alone. You know what I'm saying? And if brothers not taking their best pit bulls out here to do no hog hunting with because they already know what kind of damage they can receive. You got to take these dogs vest up, you know, vest on all kind of stuff, and they can still get damaged. You know, once you start dealing with brothers that do that type of hunting, they'll tell you the stories about how their dog's guts hanging out. They got to take them to the vets. Guts and hearts and stomachs and everything hanging out. These hogs ain't playing with them. Them pit bulls ain't doing that shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's, it's a different kind of smartness. So if you get a dog that was uh, done been in hog hunting, let's say six months to a year, he done developed a smartness to that hog hunting life. You bring him back with them dogs, them game dogs, if he never been in that box before, back then, I can only imagine he going to only try to do what he was trained to do. Take hogs down. Take dogs down the hog way. The hog way ain't the neck way. The hog way ain't the ass end way. The hog way is the ear way. That's the only place that dog can grab that hog at to keep that hog from going to his ass. Somewhere close to his head and he's still going to get him. So, you know, I just say if a brother, if brother's selling you a hog dog, just know, don't buy that off the strength of you trying to take him to the these other events. Buy that off the strength of you're going to take him hog hunting with him. You know what I'm saying? Or you're going to just use him as a pet. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you have a, like I said, you have a better off chance trying to take a full grown pit bull that you done, done did all kind of crazy shit with back in them days. Taking them out with your bay dogs. Once your bay dogs get that hog, running them, get that hog, and then you have your cattle who, your, your black mount curs and, you know, all different kind of dogs. Some of them dogs are just as rough as pit bulls, and they're going to be doing more than what y'all, you, you pit bull going to do. You let that pit bull go, he might go over there and do his locking, but some of them damn black mount curs and calahoolas way rougher than them pit bulls. So why you going to risk the pit bulls is what a lot of brothers do. Are they going to mix the pit bulls with them dogs? And use them for hog dogs. You're going to rarely see a brother taking his best dogs out there to get injured like that. It's a big chance. You got an easier chance to get injured with that hog, you know what I'm saying, that one time than all five of your shows going out there trying to get a grand champion. You know, in all five of them shows. That one show with that damn hog, <laughs> you in a life or death situation, buddy. And we and I say what two, three, four, five hundred. Shit, man, don't tell them what, how big that hog is. Man, that hog, your dog go grab that hog. Say your dog grab the hog around the, around the, around the head or wherever he grabbed him at. Man, that hog jump in the damn air, jump, take that dog off the ground, jump in the air off all four of his legs. Even if he's 500 pounds, that hog jump off all four of his legs and dump that damn dog back into the damn ground with all his weight. Boom! Man, listen, that dog ain't getting up. And that hog gonna take off doing 100 miles, 100 miles per hour if he don't take off towards you. 
Hey, Eli Monster. That's what my dog that I caught, that I was telling you about hog catching this few minutes ago, he wasn't straight pit bull. He was a pit bull and an American bulldog mix. But that's what they trained him for, the, the hog hunting. His name was Hog Catcher, and he did damn exactly that. Grabbed that damn ear, and he sucked that ear all night long. And I and I rolled him. I put him in the, I put him out there. I rolled him. When I got him, I didn't do no hog hunting with him. I did some dog hunting with him. That motherfucker was strong. That bitch was strong, boy. I ain't gonna lie to you. He get an ear, he can suck it, and he, he knew how to hold it. <laughs> but what's the ear sucker? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? An ear sucker ain't shit. So you know how that played out. But yeah, hog dog man, I don't know. Hog dog can, I, I, I'm going to say like this. Hog dog can make a great confirmation dog, weight pull, all that type of stuff. But if you were saying to me, take a dog that may train for hogs back in the days and taking them to the box, I have to play with them first and see what's what with them before I do all the other crazy shit. Now, one brother asks, if, you know, starting a line, if I was starting a line, uh, my, my yard today, what lines would I start with or who would I get my dogs from? You know what I'm saying? And, and y'all brothers down there, I already know that was obvious already. You know, I only got to answer that. And this, and this is the thing about old school brothers. If you had success with your dogs back in your days and you got a game and then you decided to get back in the game, you going back to whatever you have gave you success back in the days. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the stories, these brothers, cake, they sound good. The, the, the pictures, brothers show they look good. And, and the lollygag they talking about, they look good. But you going to stick to what you used to. Samurai Kennel, salute to you, big homie. Big salute to my brother Samurai Kennel down in the chat. Yes, sir, man. Yes, sir. But you going to stick to what you used to, man. So if I was coming back in the game, if this was back in the days and I got out and I get back in, I was going to get what I was used to, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, Because I like to win, you know. Uh, right now, I'm going to tell you like this here, though. Right now, I'm on a different level. It's these brothers with these show dogs, you know what I'm saying? These brothers with these show dogs and these and these other kind of dogs, they're the same kind of dogs. It's just these brothers with these show dogs. Only difference between these brothers with these show dogs and these brothers with these other kind of dogs is these brothers with these show dogs take more pride in the confirmation of the damn dog. The attitude of the dog ain't no damn different. That brother over there care more about how this dog shape. This brother over here don't care about how the dog shape. Both brothers care about how the dog act. N neither dog is acting no damn different. Both only thing different is the shape of the damn dog. Them brothers over there, they, they want this dog shape a certain way. These brothers over here don't give a damn. You know what I'm saying? That's all things I see different, you know? You know, that's the only thing I see different. Because I done went and bought $2,000 dogs. I done seen brothers buy these high-class-ass red boy Jocko dogs that beat them to the damn car, open up the door for them. You know what I'm saying? This, I done seen Big John dogs. You know? I ain't going to sit here and cap to you. I done seen dogs off Cyclone. Break camp. Carl Lewis. Jackie Jordan Kersey. Open the door. Hit that automatic lock. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'll holler at y'all when you get to the car. Cyclone and Raggedy Ann. You know? Yes, sir. I seen that. But, hey, I ain't, a, I, hey, we tell the good and we tell the bad. We tell it all. We ain't like them boys don't tell nothing and just want to sell puppies. They want to copy everybody's shit week after week after week. Hey, they walk them down around. Let me hire you to be on my channel, dog. Let me hire you over here. At least you won't get in no trouble, dog. We can talk dogs. I'm good. You good. You know, you just going to fuck up over there, dog. Let me hire you over here. Walk them down around. Walk them down around. Some go like it. Some don't. You can say that shit. Your, your voice walk them down around. That shit probably sound ill, nigga. <laughs> your fucked up ass West Coast voice, dog. You said some don't like it. Some don't. Some gonna like it. Some ain't. Man, listen, man. <laughs> hey, Master Ball Bulldogs. If you're out there, I'm going to drop that link down and I'm going to let you come up and get your rocks off. The boys got their rocks off on you the other day. Master Ball Bulldogs, you know. I'm going to drop that link for you, dog. You come up and get your rocks off. I'm tonight. Chad, I'm going off on Mall Cunt. Mall Cunt better make sure he's straight because every time Buck City come down to my chat, I'm... <laughs> I'm going to go back to my memory to see what you done did fucked up out here.
These brothers out here with these dogs looking like damn Doman pictures. Talking about they coming off Red Boy. <laughs> I be damn tall, stranger. I be damn, man. What I'm going to do with them, tall stranger? Home in the nanny dog, what I'm going to do with them, man? We can't get nobody up here to say Michael Myers even went into them. Period. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, bro, if you went into Michael Myers, you ain't got to even hey, take, make a fake page. Y'all know how to make fake pages. Y'all do that shit on Facebook good, but you can't do it on YouTube to get up here and talk about your dogs. Y'all know, y'all, y'all can make some fake pages on Facebook. Yes, sir. I don't know, man. If, if they over there on Buck City Channel, somebody go over there and tell Ram I want to hire him. I want to hire him over here. <laughs> hey, it is what it is, man. I want one of y'all old school ass niggas over there, too. I'm going to hire one of y'all old schoolers, too, man. From off that seven panel show y'all got over there. I need one of y'all old schoolers and walk them down Ram. And I'm going to hire y'all over here. You know what I'm saying? Give y'all some uh, family of dogs to talk about. You know? It just is what it is, Fat Farm Ray. I'm tired of them screaming my name and none of them got a, from the 70 some year olds to the damn 20 some year old. Ain't got a damn family to talk about. You know? And you ain't trying to help these brothers keep their dogs. You done lost yours. You ain't trying to help them keep them. So you're talking about nonsense. Man, I got my 843 people up in here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, hey, salute to all my people in the 843. And like I told them in the 843, 843 big. I'm talking to them motherfuckers in Conway. You got something to say about Pelican Bay? Jump on that damn that damn link down there. You know, and put your reputation and put your background and your street rep and all your prison and all that other shit up. And put all that shit up. You know, <laughs> we gonna talk tonight. If you got something to say about Pelican Bay, see, wait, holler at me. Stop all that, that that back that back talking. What you're doing? I'm I'm gonna give you and your bitch something to talk about tonight. You know, Seaway, Ori County, back talkers, back street talkers. <laughs> what you want me to do? We want me to put my video up here. You want to look eye to eye when we talk? Don't 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 be calling nobody and talking about me behind my back. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> when you can get up here. And we can put background for background, record for record. Get them boys your name. I'll give my name. Let them look, let them look them records up see what they're coming up with. That's what we're going to do, Conway. You got something to say about the Bay? Get up here. Let's talk. And stop all that talking, that wolf and that, that pussy talk. That's why I tell you, man. That's why I talk and, and, and treat motherfuckers the way I treat motherfuckers. You know? I know it ain't nothing but sheep out this folk, out this piece, fam. Sheep. You fucking with a wolf, dog. You know what I'm saying? Here's what it is. You know, like I told y'all brothers, y'all rappers in Conway, Ori County, I could put you on, fam. You get more recognition, get on my dog channel, give me that money for promotion. I'll promote you for a week, get your shit sold. You want to sell them puppies, the brothers in Ori County? You want to sell them puppies, you don't want to keep them for a whole year? Give me, give me the promotion money for two weeks. I had them shits gone. You won't have to stop all that hating and all that bullshit y'all doing out there. You know, it is, it is what it is, man. Y'all boys do too much hating. You know, it just is what it is, man. I got to call it the way I see it. This whole last two years, I, I maybe had one brother get up here from the Horry County want to rep with that dog shit, you know? And I tell you what, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let, let's just get real about this shit. Let's just get real about it. It ain't been a dog in this damn area since Sambo left. And if somebody want to get up here and say I'm lying, I mean, let me drop this chat real quick. Let me drop this link real quick. Ain't been a dog in our area since Sambo left. And I'm talking about big giant dogs and all. Everybody shit. Since Sambo left, you ain't had one that was doing the shit he was doing. In this area, within 50 miles of where I stay at right fucking now. Now, you talking all that dog talk from Horry County. Why the hell y'all ain't had no champion since then? I'm not, I ain't hear about no, no, nobody dog making grand champion from around here. You know? It just is what it is. Shit.
Big salute to my brother, Vernon Starr. Say he got his first yellow John dog back in the 80s. Hey, big salute to you, big dog. That's what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? I dropped that chat, dog. You know, I could tell, I can get brothers up here right now that, that, that went into Sam Bo. You know what I'm saying? Like I told you, Bo out hunted Johnny One Nut. I don't got to say nothing else. Tell me who Michael Myers out hunted. And Ma Cunt, you tell me why you let that man think that rock while a dog came off a hole. You know, that's what I want to know. You can't do it. You want to call me cop, this, cop, that. But you ain't got one motherfucker, like I said. Conway, Myrtle Beach, Georgetown, Longs, get the fuck up here and speak if you want to speak my damn name and put your reputation and your background on the damn line. Because I've been out here. I know what you got going on. We're going to talk about it tonight. You know, let's talk about it. <laughs> you ain't want to talk about that. Nah, y'all ain't want to talk about that. You just want to talk about me on the back streets, you know. But we're going to talk about them dogs, man. 90, 90, 91 Snooty Balls Cross. Yes, sir. That Snooty Ball stuff, I can imagine that was some hard biting game stuff. I heard that Snooty stuff was game, and I heard that ball stuff was game and hard. Hard biting. You know, um, so I, I can imagine that shit would have been rough, man. But hey, that that's probably gonna be a whole bunch of whitehead though. Snooty and Snooty and uh some old ball stuff. You who you won't know who is off of. Snooty got the white hair, right? If I ain't mistaken. Or am, I, am I mistaken? I got some white in his head or something. Uh, then you got the ball stuff that's throwing the white, white head, you no know, white head dogs. As long as you get some white head dogs, I guess it's all good. Oh, man, listen. You ain't gonna never know who Michael Myers went into. Hell, they don't know who he went into. I done told them, I told them and I told Dark Society. Y'all stupid as hell. If a brother get up here and say, tell me who my dog went, I'd have made up some shit. Man, we've been waiting for months and months. Y'all could have made up dogs. We wouldn't have known if you lying or not. How we gonna know if y'all was lying? <laughs> I don't know. Y'all just can't, you just can't even make up a lie fast enough. Hey, y'all tell me, somebody come up here and tell me if Bane X beat your dog. Bane, I'm talking about, I ain't talking about nothing new. I'm talking about Bane X from the 90s. If Bane X beat your dog, come down in the chat. Come up here and tell me that he beat your dog fair and square. Bane X from the 90s I'm talking about. Okay, we got Michael Myers, a fake champion. Bane X from the 90s. I ain't going to fuck with Bane X like that. I'm going I'm to I'm 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 slack off you, Welsh. I ain't going to fuck with you like that. Right now, you know, I'm going to let you slide. But Michael Myers <laughs> and Ball Cut, shit, dog. I told you, keep your boy out my chat. You keep, you, every, you see, he can't have no dogs, and you keep giving them dogs. And he, you keep giving them dogs, and he come over here and fuck with me. But oh yeah, Maul Cut, we do want to know why you ain't breeding that eight-time winner. Why you got a, why you had an eight-timer and you ain't breeding him? And listen here, I told Buck City to stay out my shit, right? See, I did some research, Maul Cut, and I see your article when you got your dogs took back in 2003. Now them boys say in that article, this is what the article say. They say the dogs that they was looking for, they got when they came to your house. So which dogs was that that they was looking for? Say the, the ones we was looking for, we got. Now, we ain't got to be, we, we, we ain't supposed to be talking about all this, but you can't keep your flunky out my damn chat. So I told you, as long as he stay in my chat, I'm going to go all night. It is, it is what it is. We can't get welcome down Ram. I try to hire him. Try to hire Welcome Down Ram. Can't hire him. Welcome Down Ram, I'll give you five years of dog. I'll give you some five, about five years of dog um, dog history you can talk about with them boys. You can borrow five of my years, man.
damn Buck City, you live in 20 minutes. Boy, you just said that damn three hours ago. You was going to be live an hour. You must can't count. Get your ass on live and stop coming over here telling us that shit. You told us that a long time ago, boy. You still in my chat? <laughs> boy, look at here. <laughs> hey, boy. Hey, he a bum and a clown. A bum and a clown bragging about money he ain't got. Because <laughs> you don't look like money. You, you brag about money, but you don't look like it. And a motherfucker who got it don't brag about it. And if you're going to brag about it, at least look like it. <laughs> Folk, straight like that. Ain't nobody going over there, Buck City, to get indicted. What the hell wrong with you? Talking about come over there in 20 minutes. You sound like you trying to do a, a, a buy purchase of some bullshit. Try to get, set a motherfucker up. What them boys say they ain't going to stay in your damn, uh, what, what them agents say they ain't going to stay down in the chat for so long? Get your ass from up over here. Hey, I tell you what, you play this tomorrow, you're going to be playing that shit I'm talking about Maul Cunt. You play this tomorrow, I'm talking about Maul Cunt all night. So you'll play that shit about Maul Cunt again. With that rock baller and them fake pedigrees, he right here pumping Alpo. He right here selling puppies off of Alpo Brother. And, he, and they ain't off Alpo, they off Alpo Brother. Y'all ain't knew that, did you? Y'all ain't knew Maul Cunt right here selling them off the other Alpo, calling them King Alpo. Keep them out my chat, my old cunt. I'm going to keep going all night. Keep them out my chat. <laughs> y'all motherfuckers ain't going to fuck with me. So I ain't going to sit here and act like y'all fuck with y'all. <laughs> like I said, we got our own dogs. Ben Bulldog. My old cunt, like I said before, when you was catching touchdown passes, big homie, I was in the box hanging them bitches on scales, throwing them bitches on and <laughs> washing them bitches off and all that type of shit. You know? No disrespect. You know what I'm saying? Big shouts out to you for making it where you made it at. But when I was bulldogging, you wasn't doing it, homie. You couldn't be doing it. I tell you what. Yep. You couldn't be doing it, dog. So we, you want to add Maul Cunt in there? <laughs> Which dog did you turn champion, Maul Cunt, back in the days? And why did you buy a loser from Chico Lopez in the that he got in the sport dog journal as a loser? Why did you buy that dog and stir him out? I'm trying to think of the dog name and start with an L. It ain't Luca Brasi. It's another one. Start with an L. Or a L or an M. One or the other. A L or M. I, I got the name on my tongue. I just can't get it off. I'm gonna pull that journal. I'm gonna pull that journal up and see what that shit was that Chico lost with. Chosen few kill no loss with the motherfucker. And you got him as a stud. Better get your flunk out my chat. Or see him walking down Ram over here. That's the only way I'm going to stop. We're going to hold Ram house tonight. Make him tell us some jokes. In that funny ass voice he got. Oh no, man. Hey, 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 Skip Bell. Hell no, I can't stoop to his level, dog. He ain't got a level. This shit I'm doing right now, I'm just, I'm just... Freestyling off the dome, dog. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it shit don't matter to me. I got dogs. I got I got a service that I can offer folk. If you need a dog trained, like I told you, I'm taking me a break right now because I got other things going on that I got to handle my personal life, but I'm back on it. You know, I, 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 I offer services. I got dog registration. I got, I, I train dogs. I got shit going on, dog. You know, I got shit going on. <laughs> Bug City ain't got nothing going on. All he doing is stealing. Stealing, copying. And getting other dog men hot. That's all he doing. You know? I ain't got no, no problem with my cut. But I'm just going to teach them that group of fellas a, a lesson. That when you send your flunky over here talking, <laughs> you better know how to handle your flunky. And I'm going to teach them ones a lesson that want to get up there on them seven-man panels. And thinking because they don't say nothing and somebody else say something, that they out in the clear. No, man. You'll get smacked up too if you roll with them. If brothers... <laughs> It just depends on what type of brothers you roll, you dealing with. Oh yeah, he definitely irrelevant. He definitely irrelevant. But right now, they ain't, that ain't what I'm talking about. I'm talking about mall cut. Until that bitch stay out my damn chat. 
And I want Eli Soul to come up here since he was representing, uh, talking about our bowl this morning. I, I'm going to talk about my dog and you talk about yours, Eli Soul. And let's talk about these bloodlines. Can't get him to talk on YouTube. I believe y'all have a lot of girls or something watching y'all on Facebook or something. Or y'all got a big friends list or some shit. Y'all like, like to talk that talk on Facebook or something, man. Hey, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. All he gotta do is just tell me he seen that, uh, that Michael Myers scratch one time. Damn. You mean to tell me all them boys you done gave them puppies to, all them years you done did all that shit to, all them years, and you, you didn't even see them scratch? You ain't even see them scratch. Now, Ma Cunt, why the hell you went and bought Chosen Fuse Hercules knowing he was a damn loser and you got him on stud? That's why I want to know, Malka. Why you went and bought Hercules and stood him out and he was a fucking loser? Not even a one-time winner, loser. One he ain't a, one, a two-time winner, one-time game loss. He's a one-time loser. Why the hell you bought him and got him for stud? Okay. Okay. A lot of questions need to be answered. Maybe we can get something going to like it, some ain't, something going to like it, some ain't going to like it. Ram to come up tonight. Pelican Bay Ram, come on up tonight, man. Fuck with me tonight. Let me get some of that fucked up voice to say that shit one time. Something going to like it, some ain't. Boy, that shit going to sound crazy as hell. Hey, man, hey, the boy crazy. He tell me, Buck gonna come in here in about another 45 minutes, bros, and tell me, Yo, 20 more minutes, we going live. He done did it about three times. Every, every, every 45 minutes, he come here, 20 minutes, we going live. Like I said, I'm gonna keep talking about Maul Cunt. So, because I know he gonna do nothing but play my live. He, he won't play nothing but this questions I'm asking Maul Cunt. Why you bred that man dog to a stray dog and gave it to him down in the N.O.? You already know who I'm talking about. I ain't gotta say bro name. Why you bred his dog with a stray dog? Why you bought Hercules from Chico as a loser? You know what I'm saying? Why you did it? <laughs> and why you running the time going with these damn papers when you're over here fucking with Mercedes Benz at ADBA? Why you going to Pinto? Why you going to Ford when you're rolling with the Benzo? This is what I'm trying to figure out, mall cunt. You know what I'm saying? And my brothers who asked me about Big Kennel, Little Kennel. <laughs> this is your prime example, folk. We talk to a brother with a lot of dogs, and I'm and I'm a brother with no dogs, so they say. <laughs> no dogs, but I got more dog history than a motherfucker with 300 dogs. He can't tell me one dog he campaigned and made a champion. Send the, send the word through your homeboy that talk all the time. Which dog you made a champion and campaign? Y'all boys hot for nothing. Hot because y'all selling puppies. Y'all ain't rolling shit. Y'all, y'all, y'all backyarding. Yeah, y'all backyarding. Y'all ain't calling other people backyards. You know, calling everybody else backyarders and y'all the ones backyarding. Yep. Hey, Legion Fury. Legion Fury say, knock on wood, hear me. I don't even know y'all conversation. I ain't going to get into it, but I'm going to knock on wood for whatever y'all talking about. Whatever y'all talking about, I'm knocking on wood for it. Maybe we can get up, get, get somebody in here to give me some type of knowledge on, on some of this shit, mall cut and rolling. And I'm out here damn, uh, J.D. Hogan might be the best motherfucking dog off that shit. That we made that breeding. My man City Boy made that breeding. That come off with our knowledge. How we crossed that shit up. That ain't got nothing to do with no mall cut. Yeah, he made them two dogs. The breeding made on our fucking yard. You know what I'm saying? JD Hall come from us. That's why that's why y'all keep running the running the running the mall cut and trying to get them hog, them JD looking dogs. You ain't gonna fucking get them. You better holler at City Boy Marcel or me. Other than that, you won't get that shit though. Not from no mall cut. Cause he got an eight time over there that he can't produce a dog look like JD again off of. <laughs> I'll be down. 
one of the only men in America who got an eight timer and ain't never him and ain't breed him in over a year. Big salute to them brothers who brothers that selling all the workout equipment all the little the little uh subscription things the little antibiotics and all that type of stuff y'all keep doing y'all things man because it's hard for a dog brother out here today i go to store boy i can't find nothing so y'all keep doing y'all thing man and watch for them haters because right now my brothers who's selling y'all stuff believe me now listen to what i'm about to tell y'all carefully watch your ass now the motherfuckers will get y'all ATF or come running around up on your ass. Now, now y'all ain't got no alcohol, tobacco, or firearm. But whoever, whoever down with that medicine, they'll come rolling down on your ass. You know what I'm saying? Like the feds. You know, dealing with that damn uh them prescriptions and all that other stuff. And so when you're dealing with haters, you gotta watch it all the way around. Man, let's hear Buck City. I don't care if JD mom trash, if his daddy trash, I could talk about him. I can give his brother story about him. You can't do nothing. All you do is get up there and talk about a text about Michael Myers. We waiting on you to get up here and talk. You know what I'm saying? Tell us about Michael Myers. Did you see him scratch before? Did you even hear him holler? <laughs> you did see him breathe. We know you seen him breathe, but you ain't seen that three times or do nothing. Why you bought him for you never seen him do nothing? Who seen him do something? Mall cut? He told you he did something? All y'all made up, y'all came up with a story between all, all y'all little crew. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Malka, I told you now, you don't keep my, my thing, I'm going to keep going in on you. Now, we done found out you bought Hercules and, and everything. You the only dog man in America, Malka, that is by champions. Everybody else focused on making yards. You just buy champions. None of them that you didn't see made champions. You want to come up, brothers? Find Maul Cut and sell him a dog and tell him it's a champion. He'll buy it from you. You know what I'm saying? He'll buy it from you. Especially if he don't know you. Tell him it's some of that overseas shit. He'll buy it from you. He don't, he don't campaign nothing. He just buy it champion. And sell it to y'all fools. He buy losers too. We don't know that. He'll buy them as a loser. Keep him out my chat, Maul Cut. I'm going to keep going in. Hey, hey, city boy. We ain't got to worry about it, dog. My, uh, Buck City got the agents following him in this chat, so you got to watch what you say down there. You know what I'm saying? Buck City got them agents following him. You know, it just is what it is. Oh, yeah, it's a great name now. I ain't going to lie to you. It's a great name, Eli Moss. That's a hell of a name. You know, great name. But other than that, shit. <laughs> and I mean that literally. Shit. Sanchez, he bought Sanchez, he bought Sanchez sterile. Sanchez is sterile. Bought that motherfucker, he ain't shit. Stirring him out. Oh, Alpo a legitimate grand champion, but Alpo ain't got no damn papers because Maul and ain't and Maul cut dope. Yeah. But he got him an Alpo, right? He got him an Alpo over there, but it ain't Alpo. To y'all is Alpo, but it ain't it ain't that one that you talking about right there, Eric. <laughs> it ain't that one. It's bread like him, but it ain't that one. On them papers is that one. On the other papers, you know, the Tom Garner ones. ADB ADB don't do that shit. ADB don't hip hip don't Alpo. ADB hip don't Alpo. Oh, yeah. Great name. Shell of a dog, shell of an owner. And we can't get nobody who say Michael Myers beat they dog. I guess you and Maul Cut came up with that strategy. And he just went crazy buying champions. Like I told y'all, y'all want to come up right now, call Maul Cut on the low. He'll buy a champion from you. Work that game on him. Y'all know how to hustle. Y'all know how to do them finesse moves. He buy them champions. Bug City, boy, you supposed to be going live 20 minutes ago, boy. You must can't count. That motherfucker must can't count unless he on live on my channel. I don't even go on his channel, period. I would not listen to 
Anything, anything I know about Buck City Channel, somebody told me. I ain't gonna lie to you. I never listen to that shit. I never, ever, ever. I don't go in no chat, no none of that shit. Period. Period. Anything I know about Buck City, as far as what he said about me, is because somebody else told me that they was listening to that shit. I don't listen to that motherfucker channel, dog. I'm not getting indicted. I already know that shit under investigation. <laughs> I ain't talking this shit and sitting and sitting. Sit, and and you gonna see me up in the chat arguing with him and all that shit? Hell no. You know, only reason I ain't kicked him out yet because them people that's following him, they know I don't fuck around. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you right now, today I don't fuck around. You can check my background. I don't fuck around. I ain't Buck City. Damn, man, I can't hire Ram for I can't hire Ram for damn comedy. Buck can't tell us about Michael Myers. Maul cunt can't tell us why he bred that damn stray dog to that man down there in the bottom dog, down there in the bottom dog, and got them Rockwaller colors. You know, I can't get no answers from that Oklahoma crew and that West Coast crew tonight. You know what I'm saying? Y'all want to talk that bulldog talk. We South Carolina talking that shit tonight, man. What y'all talking about? You know? What you talking about? Oh, man, I ain't even talking about Thompson. I ain't going to talk about Thompson, man. He ain't, he ain't deserving of this conversation. He was on the channel the other day asking the brothers about, oh, man, you do that to your dog? Oh, you do this to your dog? Man, Thompson is a... Man, listen, I ain't talking about him tonight. I'm going to leave Thompson alone. Yeah, I'm going to leave him alone. You know, leave him alone. He went and took pictures of my yard and all kind of shit. I wish you'd have took a picture and seen his old lady car back there. Hey, I ain't going to lie to you. All of, I asked Tom Garner the same thing. Why he sold us them dogs? And he ain't answered the questions yet. We ain't got to argue about nothing. This, we want some honest damn answers. You selling brothers these dogs? Why you sold me a champion? <laughs> For damn cheap. And he couldn't have no damn puppies. And why? That, about that dynamite dog I showed y'all last week. You know what I'm saying? But I know, hey, Chinaman, them official. I ain't tripping on going about that. We tripping on uh, Michael Myers. And why Buck City let them people charge him with the dog fighting and he ain't damn dead shit? I just can't understand that. You represent your damn self when you went to court. You know you ain't touched, Michael Myers. How the fuck you let them people tell you you scrapping this dog and you know damn well you ain't scrapped that dog, man? You know you ain't touched that dog. How hard would it be to argue for myself knowing I'm telling the truth? If I know I'm telling the truth, I'm going to argue that bitch motherfucker like... You ain't going to be able to tell me, you know what I'm saying, if I know I'm telling the truth. And Buck, you know y'all ain't touched that dog. You sit there letting them people tell you you was rolling that dog, make you feel like you was big time. <laughs> hey, you wanted to feel big time about some misdemeanors, so you let them tell you that. You know? Brain mall cut with you when you come, Buck City. You mall cut and ram. And bring one of them old school ass niggas too. I need me an old school nigga on my channel. Sell me and up. Sell me and up. Yeah. I had all them links out of drop. I ain't got nobody from around my way to come up here. You know, nobody from around my way to come. Now, Buck City, since we're talking about money, let's talk about money tonight. Let's put 2500 that I, I can keep. I can call people up here to verify my shit, and you get up here with me. Cash out the money. I cash out you 25 You cash out me 2500 Talk about who verified Michael Myers, Buck City. Put 2500 on it. Fuck all that talking that you're talking about. Tell my old cunt to give you some of that NFL bread he got, some of that pension money. You know? Tell them all cutting to give that pension money on, on the strength of your Michael Myers career, big dog. Unless y'all made that shit up. Only thing I can see. Salute to my fam down there in the N.O., man. I told you, big dog. Did I tell you last year, dog? I told you that, dog. 
I ain't capping. Man, let him straight. Let man let him straight hit your dog. You know what I'm saying? And <laughs> kept your damn money and your damn dogs. That's why he tried to buy the motherfuckers back from you. You know? That's why he tried to buy them back from you. Because if he could have got that little from you, <laughs> he would have put them off them Sorrell dogs that he had on, on got on his yard. That's all it would have did. He would have shit somebody else with a whole other line of dogs. Oh, they coming off the Sorrell dogs and something else. Because he ain't got the female. You got the female. So he would have had to put them off one of his females still lying about papers. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Everybody in your panel. I got more than one dog I could talk about. I just save a lot of stuff for ammunition. I'm, and I'm talking to them old schoolers now. I got more than one dog I could talk about. And like I said, if you ain't benefiting the game modern day time, what you up here talking for? Keep your old ass home and keep your old ass off this internet. Before you get somebody hemmed up out there with this bullshit. I'm going to see if I can get me a fucking uh, interview with Michael Vick so he can tell brothers. I'm going to see if I can get me an interview with Michael Vick so he can tell brothers how to, how, what not to do with their dogs when you fuck up. Because all these brothers that we got that done fucked up in the game, all these old school ass dog brothers, <laughs> y'all seem to forget y'all fucked up like me. Y'all, y'all don't got no love for these brothers out here because <laughs> they're not near one of y'all. <laughs> tell them brothers how not to fuck up. Oh, hell no. All champions do not produce. You right about that. You right about that, uh, City Boy Kennels. Hey, and that goes back to what I was saying earlier. When we got a one-time winner and he produced a grand champion, why do brothers say, I'm going back to the daddy of that grand champion? When we all know a dog's supposed to produce better than himself. So if a dog produces better than himself, why would I go to the lesser dog? You know, why would I go to the lesser dog? Unless I'm going off pedigrees and papers. I'm not going off of the dog itself. I'm going off of pedigrees and papers. And that's exactly why I said them brothers like Crenshaw's Jeep, Chavis Jocko, Tom Garner's Chinaman, a uh, 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 Bash Red Boy, all them dogs, one dog, one man got a dog from a from a uh, from a dog man. Made that dog a bloodline. They didn't do four generations on Jeep, you know. So why y'all gotta do it? Why y'all need eight generations to have your own bloodline? When Crenshaw didn't do it with Jeep, you not as equal as Crenshaw? <laughs> That's something. Y'all motherfuckers the same as these folk back in the days. Unless y'all don't see it that way. Why the hell Ronnie Bass can take Red Boy, turn him to a bloodline without breeding four generations on him? How the hell gonna take Chinaman, turn him to a bloodline without putting four generations on him? How they do it? How Honey Bunch got a bloodline without having four generations on her because she was the shit? It didn't take them brothers back then four generations. Them brothers, when you get that dog a name, once that dog becomes what we what we're gonna say is famous, you know, then that dog made a name for himself. Your dog can be a bloodline, man. All right, I'm gonna use the I'm gonna use the dude Arby Harris that I be talking shit to all the time. I'm gonna use you for example, dog. You got a, you had the dog dead eye. Dead Eye came off a of rattler. Okay, we know where that bloodline come from. If you would have took Dead Eye, made him more famous, like famous like Mayday, dog, Dead Eye bloodline is your, your shit. You know what I'm saying? That's a that that's they that's the big John line of dogs. But you made that dog a name. You know what I'm saying? People gonna be breeding to Dead Eye. They don't give a fuck what Dead Eye offer. They're gonna go to Dead Eye. You know what I'm saying? Because he that shit. Now, if you wanna be stupid and be like, oh. Oh, go go breed to the daddy, man. You know what I'm saying? Breed to the daddy. That's you being stupid. <laughs> but everybody know a dog's supposed to produce better than him. 
So if a dog produce a dog that's actually better than him, what what makes brother go back to the daddy thinking they're gonna get another? See what y'all brothers think? Y'all think because the daddy produced him, he'll produce you another one of them. No. <laughs> What's your chances on that happening? You know, we two hours in. I told y'all, if I got two, I'll be on this bitch when the damn sunlight come up in the morning. You know what I'm saying? We need some fucking answers, Mall Cunt and Buck City, and I need Ram to come fill this application out to join the comedy club. You know what I'm saying? I need Ram to come join the comedy, and we need Mall Cut and B uh, Buck City to answer them damn questions. You know? Simple as that. And you want me to stay off your ass, Mall Cut? Because I ain't had no problem with you. Keep your fucking flunky out my damn chat. Keep his police ass out my chat. His fucking damn watch ass out my chat. My brothers down here need to get dog talk, dog news, dog information. They don't need to be getting under surveillance for nothing. Motherfucker, police wasting taxpayers' dollars and these brothers over here, hardworking brothers, and all kind of shit like that. Don't bring them, 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 them people over here, man. My folk, they just wasting their damn taxpayer dollars and the government funds and the investigating funds and all that on folk who don't do shit. You know what I'm saying? One thing about my channel, I got requirements. I make it like, like the Social Security. You got to be 65 or 63. Motherfucker, I got requirements. You got them. <laughs> hey, my boys over here straight. Don't bring that shit over here. Ball cut. If you want to be dumb as hell, let them run your name in the mud. <laughs> hey, it is what it is. You better cut your ties with them if you know what I know, ball cut. Because this shit here can go on all year long. What I'm doing right now, every time them boys put your name up there, say you do some fuck shit on Facebook, I get on my channel and talk about it. You know what I'm saying? It just is what it is. And like I said before, I don't want to let y'all Conway boys, <laughs> let y'all feel like y'all left out. You know, not just the dog ones. I'm talking about them street niggas. The ones that always want to talk that street stuff. Y'all can come up here, hit that link, and, t and tell what you, what the problem that you got against Hirsch. Fuck Pelican Bay. Tell me the problem that you got about Hirsch. And I'm going to tell your whole background, your uncle background, and your mama background, and your cousin background. And, and, t and have your girl up there shitting. Have your girl up here mad. And probably tell her shit they fucking and got your old side kid. You know? Get up here. You know? <laughs> Y'all do a lot of back talking. Just imagine if I had five of me up here on a panel. Five motherfuckers willing to go off just like me. Don't give a fuck and got their own damn dogs. You know what I'm saying? It started off when I got on YouTube, but he ain't got no dogs. He ain't got no dogs. This and that. He got German Shepherds. He got German Shepherds. Man, I got a Molly Wine in the backyard that's worth some, more than some of y'all boys' whole fucking yard put together. And no cap. One trained Molly Wine that's worth more than every damn dog in your yard put together. But I ain't going to get into all that right now because we talking bulldog talk. Oh, yeah. A stolen dog, you ain't going to never get no... uh. No kind of paper credit, proper credit, no none of that shit. That's why I tell brothers with stolen dogs. You know what I'm saying? You ain't going to get no credit. And if you run a dog man like me, shit, I'm going to be looking at you in the back of my damn, looking at you, you know, from the backside like, man, you ain't even type dog man I want to be around. For one, I can't say you no know, puppies because you don't bow. You know what I'm saying? Two, you might steal my shit. I can't damn take you to my house, see my dog, you might steal my shit. You know what I'm saying? Hey. So, you really ain't got no future stealing dogs. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got no future stealing dogs. But no matter how much I say that, them brothers gonna still do it. Still gonna do it. Buck said them boys must be live now. Damn, man. I'm trying to see. I'm trying to set my channel up where we can have a comedy hour. We're gonna talk bulldogs. We gonna talk bloodlines, all that type of stuff, but it's only certain people that can do the comedy for me. Ram, one of them, and, and Master Ball Bulldogs, he one of them. But the night I was gonna let you go off on Buck the night, Master Ball Bulldogs. See, you pussy, Master. Master Ball Bulldogs, you pussy. I don't know why you call yourself Master. You a pussy, man. Them boys be talking about you, and you get on your little weak ass channel and wanna go live, knowing that man up here in my damn chat right now. You can get up here and talk about him, say what you wanna say about him. <laughs> 
You ain't no South Carolina master of all bulldogs. You ain't got that South Carolina ain't blood yet, boy. Your folk must ain't give you enough sweet tea and cornbread yet, boy. <laughs> you ain't got it in yet, dog. You know what I'm saying? It just is what it is, you know? <laughs> and Thompson neither. Bless his heart, though. I ain't gonna fuck with Thompson no more, man. Y'all leave Thompson alone out there, man. Leave Thompson alone. Yeah, man. Hey, I want to send a big salute out to all my Bulldogs, man. Everybody that been rocking with me so far tonight, though. You know what I'm saying? Everybody that been rocking with me tonight. And like I told them, I don't even know. I'm taking my watch off. I don't even want to know what time it is. I just want to look out the window and see that motherfucking sun coming up. And, and every time Buck City drop his ass in my chat, I'm going off on Maul Cunt. You know what I'm saying? And to tell you the truth, Maul Cunt, Tom going to Buck City. All y'all, y'all one crew of motherfuckers. We can knock all this shit out at one time. Get all y'all up here on the panel at one time and knock all these questions out. All y'all homeboys, Maul Cunt, Garner, Buck City. All y'all get up here and answer these questions I got. You know? <laughs> it is what it is, though, brothers. We ain't letting them boys shit us no more. We ain't letting them shit us no more. And Buck done let them people shit him with a charge on the dog. He ain't roll. Oh, they just charge you for the shit, though, really, tell you the truth, and shooting them dogs with that pellet gun. Big salute out to that brother next door to Buck City that flew that drone, flew that drone like motherfucking he was in the, 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 the U.S. Air Force. Motherfucker flew that drone like he was in the U.S. Air Force. And you mean to tell me he got this nigga shooting the dog, go back and go shoot the dog again. Then they come to this motherfucker house and get the, the damn shooting weapon. Now, <laughs> I, 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 you can say what you want to say. I done been through my shell shit. If you shoot a damn dog, if I go shoot a dog with a pellet gun, and them folk come get that damn pellet gun from my house, man, we ain't talking no 10 months. We talking about some years in jail. Fuck the dog shit. We ain't even got to the dog shit yet. We talking about just shooting a dog with the pellet gun alone. And then they and then they go get the weapon that you shot them, the dog with. <laughs> Lie to somebody else like you ain't got the whole fucking damn state of Washington following you over in my chat. Lie to somebody else like that, Buck. <laughs> 20 minutes ago, you supposed to be going live. I hope you over there live and got my, my shit playing so Ram can hear me and he can come over here and get a job. I can give him a job, man. Pelican Bay Ram. Hey, it is what it is, though. I'm just tired of sitting back and then brothers is like, who the fuck is this dude talking about, dog? This dude don't even know me. Who the fuck, who the hell is this dude? Who's like, damn. Bro, I be needing interviews from brothers. Y'all brothers can come up here and do an interview. You don't got to diss me. Come do a fucking interview. You going to get a whole lot more fucking damn, whole lot more uh, clientele for your fucking future YouTube channel if you can just do an interview. Fuck all that diss and shit. Listen here. Buck City can't talk about no blue dogs, no no kind of dogs. You know what I'm saying? Cause he ain't did shit. You know, like I say, like I said yesterday or whenever I was, I was on live. Pro and Buck City the same fucking way. That's why Pro jumped on the fucking channel. None of them touched the damn box. Doing no real serious shit. You know what I'm saying? Same fucking way. Birds of a feather flock together. We talking, hey. I'm trying to get Buck City in here to figure out an actuality G test. I wasn't talking to Buck City because I know he didn't match. He didn't campaign Michael Myers. So I needed, I wanted to talk to whoever could campaign Michael, Michael Myers. You know what I'm saying? That's who I wanted. That's who the whole thing was. It wasn't even the Buck City because I know, I know he ain't campaign the dog. But what I asked him is, if he know he ain't campaign that dog, why the hell he let them folk, them police people, 
give him and lie to him, get in court and say you 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 fighting Michael Myers. No damn well you ain't fought that motherfucker, though. You let them people talk that shit for clout, man. They look like a, a look like a fucking dog fighter. Like I said, I'm going to try to get brothers like Michael Vick up here the, 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 so he can get up here and tell brothers the right way to try to keep their dogs because these brothers got busted with their dogs back in the days. These brothers can't have no dogs. They ain't with trying to tell you how to keep your dogs. You know what I'm saying? They ain't with none of that shit. You know, telling you how they got busted, what move they made wrong. So you don't have, you don't have to make that same move. You know what I'm saying? Why am I, you know, a, a real nigga like Vic could tell you, you know, but not these bullshit ass old ass dog men, young dog men, fuck ass dog men. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, they talk about me on their seven man panel. And how, how many people y'all seen up here with me tonight? Now I might have been up here with about six or seven personalities, but I ain't been up here with but, 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 but one PBK. You know, it just is what it is. With a whole bunch of dog history. I ain't talking no modern day shit. You know what I'm saying? No modern day stuff. Michael Myers, 1990s. Michael Myers, 1990s. We can't get a fucking story. Mall cunt. You're breeding bullshit, nigga. I ain't talking about the stuff that you're breeding. I'm talking about my man down in the N.O. You fucked him out that bread. You gave him that bullshit breeding. I don't know. Hey, it is what it was. It was what it was. You know? Why you, why you fucking niggas over out of Alpo? Alpo breeders. You know, why you going to town going to the rest of your dogs up, mall cut when your shit already rest up to do the ABA? You know? Why you doing that? You know what I'm saying? Why you gonna leave a woman who take care of you, who massage your back, who cook your damn dinner for a damn scallywag whole ass bitch in the streets? You know what I'm saying? It don't make no sense, big dog. The only thing I can see is it's easier. Going to Tom Garner, it's a whole lot easier <laughs> The red roller, nigga. It's Garner ain't going to check it. And that's exactly why Garner ain't getting recognized from all these other damn bigger paper companies. You know what I'm saying? Pelican Bay ain't, might not be big as Garner, <laughs> but, I, but I'm recognized. You know what I'm saying? And you can't do nothing about it. You know? Mo Cunt got a thousand champions and ain't campaigning every one of them motherfuckers. Where they do that at? Oh, Oklahoma. Motherfucker got down 50 champions. Ain't seen out there one of them bitches go. Not near one of them. And like I said, uh, hey, you went and bought Hercules. What made you like Hercules after he lost already? Chosen few Hercules. Did you buy him from Chico just because it was Chico? Because you thought you could shit us niggas out here? You buy him from Chico, you can come out here and shit us niggas, small cunt? Just buying a dog from, buying a loser? You didn't think we was going to find out? You can't, we, oh, them niggas can't read. They don't read. <laughs> I be damned. We in a different era now. We in a different bulldog era. We we in a, we in an era where them boys map everything out. We 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 on them pedigrees. We in them journals, boy. We on everything. <laughs> and you bought a loser, a fucking loser. <laughs> Ooh wee, man. Listen here, man. Let me see what's in my curriculum we need to go back to. I got I got to get back to my curriculum, brothers and sisters. Salute to all the brothers and sisters down in the chat. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to drop down in the comments as well. You know what I'm saying? Salute all my bulldoggers from one side of the world to the other. I ain't going away yet. I'm just saluting everybody. You know what I'm saying? Big salute to everybody. Home of the nanny dog. Egg B enemy down there. Christian down there. 050, 050 Judah. Full bite. Big up to everybody, man. Samurai Kennel. City Boy Kennel, 216, Dickie Foster, everybody. Vernon Star, a Liquid Lucky, um, uh, Legion Fury, everybody, man. Shit. Man, hey, you couldn't melt them boys and pour them on a show. Hey, I tell you what, 
That's how it is, 2024. We ain't trying to be melted and pulled on those shows. Damn all that shit. We ain't trying to be known as none of that shit, man. I'll tell you what, I wish I could get Chico up here tonight. Chico, tell me about that Apple stuff, man. Tell me what the Amal Cut got going on with this Apple stuff. Chico don't say what he got to say about Buck City. He, he feel the same way I feel. This motherfucker ain't on nobody. If you got a dog, I don't give a damn if you 17 years old. If you got a dog, you above Buck City right now. You know what I'm saying? That motherfucker, get on Facebook and take a picture with your dog, and Buck City can't do that. You know, you above him right now. 17 years old, my, my 17 year old brother, I got a challenge for y'all. Go on Facebook, take a picture, you above Buck City. You know, you want to know who Big Kennel, Little Kennel? You Big Kennel today, dog. You Big Dog today. Get on your Facebook, take a picture with your dog, and say, fuck you, Buck City. Do this, boy. And we'll see what he do. That motherfucker Buck City got up there on Facebook and say, post the Michael Myers dogs. And it been 30, 45 minutes, and I got up there and say, damn, where the dogs at? Nobody posted one picture yet. Where the hell are all the dogs at? And when you say poster, hey, yo, post the Mayday dogs, post the Walking Out dogs, post the Eli dogs, post them black dogs, post them red noses. Brothers get responses in five minutes, three minutes, 30 seconds. Man, I'm talking 30 minutes, they ain't got no brothers comment about shit. You know, it is, is what it is, though, man. It is what it is. Like I say, you won't get no J.D. Hogg looking dog unless you get one of J.D. Hogg puppies off the old school family reds or you go holler at City Boy Kennels or you holler at Marcel, whatever his kennel name is. You know what I'm saying? Marcel Shepard Kennels. You know, you go holler at him, me, uh, 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 motherfucking City Boy. You ain't holler at us three. <laughs> you, you ain't getting that shit there from Mall Cut. I don't give a damn what Mall Cut take. You. you can breed hog 25 different ways. You ain't getting that shit there. You know, and I can't help. You ain't got no nobody out here with no hog offspring that's that's bigging up their shit. You know, we just took our hog offspring and bred the motherfuckers the right way. We ain't trying to buy champions. We trying to make champions. You know what I'm saying? That's the generation of folk we trying to do. You know, <laughs> that's the shit my cut learned because he playing football, going to college and all that shit. While niggas bulldog and you were doing all that, like I say. So you learn how to buy champions while we was making them motherfuckers. And your boy Buck City, he never even seen a box. Just like Pro, never seen a box. <laughs> Pro just can talk that shit better than Buck. He'll make up a lie on you fast. Buck just steal your shit. Buck a thief and Pro, Pro a lie on you. You know? Pro make up shit on you. And, and Buck City a thief. I know Supreme Excellence one out there. Big shout out to you, dog. I tell you, we're going to break your ass. We're going to bring you back to the good old boys. <laughs> we're going to bring you back to the good old boys. You want to be you want to be down with Buck so bad, but he always leaving you in the dust, dog. You know? And I don't mind you rocking. You know, I rocks with you. You know what I'm saying? One thing about it. I don't harbor no, we talk shit one day, you come back, rock with me the next day, it's all good, dog. Because my dog game official, so I don't get mad. Everything official with it. I don't get mad with that shit over one, more than one day. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, G-Test. This, is, this just a Saturday night thing. I ain't got, he ain't got nothing for me to talk about for the rest of the week, though. You know what I'm saying? The rest of the week, I got to talk about my training and my dogs and the bloodlines and the pedigrees and the news when brothers getting you no know, different things with the news with the dogs. You know what I'm saying? I just decided I was going to talk about this stuff tonight because I wanted to know. Now, I wasn't even going to talk about Mall Cunt. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't even going to talk about him until the flunky showed up. He don't want to come up here and talk. You know what I'm saying? Didn't even want to come up here and talk about cop, cop, cop when he know he got the whole damn Seattle police force following that motherfucker. <laughs> and they followed you to Mall Cunt house. Now, they, now you're trying to get them to follow you to the East Coast. But it's all good, though, man. It's all good. Like I said, this ain't no shot at one. This is a shot at all. The whole seven-man fucking panel. Get a fucking family of dogs or shut the fuck up when you mention my motherfucking name. You know what I'm saying?
It is, it is what it is. Let me check my curriculum. See what I got here for my brothers. Okay. In just a second, my bros. Okay, uh, y'all don't forget now while I'm looking at this, y'all don't forget to go to uh, hit our brother Samurai up about the Digital Dog Show. Y'all don't forget to hit uh, Down South Bottom Kennels up about the Mississippi Dog Show going down in, uh, no, Louisiana Dog Show. My fault. Man, I don't, hey, Down South Bottom, man. I'm fucked up right now, dog. I can't remember because them, them, my boy just went to a dog show down that way. I can't remember if Mississippi or Louisiana. But you know I'm you know I'm I'm speaking it from good, you know, from a good good terms, dog. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to be funny or nothing. I just can't ever remember. I'll be saying that shit so damn much, dog. I can't remember Mississippi or Louisiana. I think y'all boy Louisiana. You know, May 18th. I remember that damn Mississippi, Mississippi, May 18th, though. I remember that damn name. I mean that damn um, date, May 18th, man. Down South Bottom. Them boys got that shit rocking. Summer I got that shit rocking. You know, um, my man, y'all boy, say he got that magazine coming for you. Uh, official magazine, uh, going hard. Got a magazine that I heard through the um, grapevine, uh, you know, representing they, they stuff and they stock, whatever they was, you know, this stuff. You know what I'm saying? Great literature out here, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't get yourself tied up with a brother who just, you know what I'm saying, that you know going to get you tied up. You know what I'm saying? It's different than if you, you like, okay, I just, he, you know, he just do some things fucked up or whatever, but he all right, dude. You know, he all right. The brother might be all right. But the brother don't got common sense to know that you bringing your heat to everybody else. You know what I'm saying? Then you come out here talking shit to people like you got the ground to stand on. And you don't got no ground to stand on, dog. I go legal on your ass and just talk shit to you. Make you, you can't say shit to me. I just go straight legal on you. I won't talk about no dog fighting, period. I just straight talk training. Bring all the people from the training community in to go in on your fucking ass. You know? I bring a whole different audience in, dog. People who don't even care about pit bulls to come get you, Buck City. Dog, you better stay in your lane, dog. And that's a lane where nobody else at. A lane where you can't hurt nobody or fuck nobody up. You think, you, you think, bro, bros and sisters, you think he 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 wouldn't get you fucked up if you see how he did his own shit? You think he care about you? You think you care about you when he out here knowing he can't have dogs, posting all mall cut shit all over Facebook. All you see is mall cut, mall cut, making that man hot, putting that man all over this place, putting that man all over that place. That man don't need you to advertise him Buck City. The hell wrong with you, dog? You need to stay away from brothers. You, you thinking it's funny, but you need to stay away from brothers. You don't got shit going on right now. And you must don't got no bitch because you wake up early in the morning with Pelican Bay on your mind, jumping on a damn channel. And if it was me, man, I'm getting pussy that early in the morning. I ain't thinking about all that shit. Jumping on there thinking about, I don't give a damn what you say about me the day before. You know what I'm saying? I ain't thinking about all that crazy shit, man. That motherfucker jump up five o'clock in the morning. Talking about the B. Shout out to my brother Tall Strange out there. He said something about Little Thunder. I don't know but one Little Thunder, man. That was a hell of a damn dog. You know what I'm saying? Off of Red Thunder. Little Thunder, I'll bet the house on him. His daddy, I'll bet the fucking house on him. Champion Red Thunder, Champion Little Thunder. Y'all always talking about Rattler. Y'all always talking about Rattler, Rattler, Rattler. I tell you what, hey, Buck City, I bet you $5,000 Rat motherfucker now, nigga, on everything. On my, on, I tell you what, if I'm lying, I'll give J.D. Hall to anybody in that chat right now. I'll mail, I'll, I'll mail you the damn papers if I lose this bet right now tonight. You know what I'm saying? If I lose this bet tonight, I'll mail anybody in that damn chat the papers for J.D. Hall or Fletcher. Or mellow yellow. Champion Little Thunder. You talking about Rattler. You talking about Rattler. 
I give y'all boys right now tonight more Rattler stories from the box than I want motherfucking Michael Myers stories. Or I want to know why Ho bred to that damn funny color dog and you lied to that boy down there in Louisiana. That's what I'm talking about. $5,000 fucking dollars. What's happening? Stop all that talking, that talk, that bullshit y'all be talking and, and be, about you, be about what you're about. You say rat lane shit? I was at three of his damn shows. So I'm going to get up and I'm going to talk that 90s, 1990s dog talk. It's 2024, 20, 20, almost 25 years ago. You know, I'm going to give you some rattler stories. If y'all can give me one Michael Myers scratch. Did Michael Myers turn? Did What the hell did he do? Other than you taking a picture of him hung to a female. And you're getting boys to come to your house and take pictures of them hung to their damn dogs. And they smiling, they happy, because they thinking they got a real champion hung to their damn dog. <laughs> That's all I'm going to see. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I tell you what. Them boys always want to talk, that big John talk, but they, they don't want that smoke with them, them big John boys. They never wanted that smoke. That's why they talk that talk from afar. You know what I'm saying? They talk that talk from afar, but they ain't want that smoke. Motherfuckers talk that damn talk shit. You know what I'm saying? But they didn't want that smoke. If, 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 we, if we can get up here to talk some Michael Myers talk, I got five fucking thousand dollars on it. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, Mo Cunt, you got it, right? Because we already know Buck City ain't got it. He bragging about money. He ain't got it. Put five thousand dollars that you can't tell me more Michael Myers stories than I can tell you from Rattler. And that ain't even my fucking dog. I got to go to somebody else's dog because I can't go to mine. Sam Bo got more stories than you and Maul Cunt put together. You and Maul Cunt put together don't got more stories than Sam Bo got. And that's real talk. Yeah, I don't got more dogs than Maul Cunt. I ain't going to never see that. You know what I'm saying? No, we talking about um, we talking about um, Thunder off for of, well, at least I'm talking about Thunder off for of Champion Red Thunder. Champion Red Thunder should be off of Split Ears. Split Ears off Little John. Little John off of uh, Ace. Ace off of Triple Jocko or uh, Triple Out Jocko, one of the motherfuckers, and then he off of damn Jocko. You know, little thunder. I see you motherfuckers. You, you want to do something? $20,000. Bring it. Whatever you want to do. Motherfuckers don't want to do shit. They get out here on these YouTube and these Facebook stuff and start capping and acting like they won't smoke with them boys. And you ain't want no smoke with them boys back in them days. You know? And when we talk this dog talk, everybody back in the days. I don't give a damn. Bang next. Everybody. Every dog we talking about is back in the days. You know what I'm saying? So if you want to be ignorant, and get up here and start talking about some modern day stuff. You know, it is what it is. Little Thunder from the 90s. Uh, all the dogs we talking about from the 90s. Old stuff. You know what I'm saying? Little Thunder. Little motherfucker. Look like he's about 42, 43 pounds. Brown. That little motherfucker was perfect size. He wasn't too big. You know? Bad motherfucker. Now, hey. Now, I ain't gonna cap. I ain't never seen Little Thunder. I'm, I ain't never seen him in that in that in that action. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna cap on it like that. But I'm gonna tell you what, I seen him, I seen him back a motherfucker down. I tell you like that. You know what I'm saying? I tell you what, a hey, 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 tall, a hey, tall stranger. I can believe you, bro. You say red thunder way better. I can believe you. But I tell you what, little thunder was a motherfucker that they boys, them boys thought high on him. I'm telling you now. And then he ain't back down from nobody. I seen him step the motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to tell you like this here. I got hold of Red Thunder damn daddy. That's the one I told you got hold of Bo. It made me pick Bo up. Red Thunder daddy. You know what I'm saying? Shit. I, 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 hey, it just was what it was. I, I, I got out hunted by Fletcher. I had a Mexican Eli dog. That I was working for my man. I was conditioning him. It wasn't my dog. I was conditioning him. Got I hunted by Fletcher. Oh, 
Oh yeah, GTS man, I already know it. But all he do is steal content and, and watch our channels that go to his channel and start talking about the same shit, man. That's all he do. That's why I was talking the stuff I'm talking tonight, man. When when a motherfucker can't, when the motherfucker don't got shit going on, you could talk talk to him like that. When he when he trying to down everybody, you know what I'm saying? Hey, salute to you, um, um, tall stranger. Have a great night, big dog. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, I ain't gonna keep y'all brothers here too long, man. I'm I'm, I'm glad y'all rock with me tonight. Let me check my curriculum, see if I got anything else to talk about as far as these dogs and these bloodlines. All right, because I was saying, um, we was talking about the top yards. I was saying the, the I thought, you know, to the brothers that came in the chat kind of late, early in, the, early in the video, I said, I thought brothers preserved the Eli dogs kind of better than a lot of bloodlines. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to different brothers having pure line bred Eli dogs. Everybody got Red Boy, jo Red Boy Jocko dogs, but all of them ain't line bred. You know what I'm saying? You only got handful of people with line bred red boy jocko dogs from the 90s to now you know and with the eli dogs you got more brothers who got line bred eli dogs i think you know it just could be my opinion and then and then comes the red boy dogs they got a lot of red boy dogs like that brothers got good red boy dogs bred up out here that they, they run in their yards and stuff with you know and then we touched up on the uh the old dogs breeding when when brother said about the thirteen year old male dog breeding, and I, I showed him this dog right here, which was the grandson of Grand Champion Yellow. That's one of Toe Jam's sons, off of Razorback Jew. You know, off a dog named Razorback Jew. That's off of Toe Jam and Razorback Jew right there. You know, uh, Razorback Jew, uh, that which is uh, you know, Red Boy Jocko Jeep with the eat, um, China and stuff on the bottom. But that dog there is twelve years old. The female that's in that breeding right there, she's coming down off that 20 gauge stuff, that damn uh, Genghis Kong and uh, that stuff right there. She's coming down off, off that stuff. Now, they, and, and guess what? I want to say this dog right here, if it wasn't her, it was one of her sisters because he bred to one of her sisters as well. If it wasn't her, it was her sister had a Rottweiler dog. Rottweiler color. But guess what? He he have Chinaman himself, so they don't matter. You know what I'm saying? It, it could be there. And then she got all that damn Eli stuff in her. The Jeep stuff in her too, I think. I want to say some Jeep stuff in her too. She got some heavy Jeep in her too. But yeah, that's 12 years old right there, though. That was in 2000, 2011, 2012. That's the dog in some of y'all brothers' pedigree. That 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 uh, that's the um, I what the boys Tucker's Kilo or Cujo. That's that's his uh pedigree name, his paper name Kilo or Cujo. One of them, you know what I'm saying? But that's when he was on my yard when I had him at for a short moment of time, you know, a little short period. I had another pitch I wanted to show y'all. Hold on, let me see if I can upload it real quick. It's a dog of Big Country. I'm gonna see if I can upload it for y'all and a Goon Goon dog. It's not a whole lot of footage. I might, I might can find it. I wait. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can get on my stream yard real quick. Give me a second, brothers and sisters down there. This dog right here off Big Country, and I was getting him right for the brother. You know what I'm saying? Um, his name was uh, Big Onion. He was off Big Country. I'm about to pull him up in a minute. All right, give it a split second, brothers. It's uploading now. All 
All right. Let me see. This dog right here is off of uh. Um, On the intro, that yellow dog that be looking like he's trying to bite when I be I'm having that video playing with the other music on it, and there's a yellow pit bull be trying to take the screen. That's his mama right there barking. Oh there, he was he was supposed to bring him to me and let me get him right for him. He bought them to me. I said, yo, man, I got them starting to act crazy. You know what he did, right, brothers? You know what he did? He came and scooped the dog up early. Took him to say he did something with him. And when he did something with him, he put him, somehow or another, the storage went right after he rolled him, and he was dead the next day. He dead the next day, but that's that's one name, uh, Big Onion. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, let me show you. Now, that that female that's barking right there. Couldn't touch that bitch for two months. Until finally I got off the leash one day and that was it. I got that bitch off the leash and then she'll start attacking people for me. <laughs> but that was uh that was one of my homeboys' dogs though. The boys had that, that, that um goon goon stuff bread with some old red boy Jocko in it. Oh yeah. Hey them, when the boys about to have them big John puppies for sale about five thousand dollars probably. If not, if they even sell any of the motherfuckers. Oh, yeah. See, hey, 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 Brother Fry. You right about that, dog. They always refuse to cross. Hey, hey, and that's what brothers, that's, that's a bad thing about them, but it's a excellent, it's a good thing about them because... It lets me know, being, being that, you know how we know them brothers since back, you know, and you know they refuse to go out and do all that. You know what you got. You know, you might not like it. It might not be, like I say, we got to say, only thing we got to worry about is it being cold. Is this mother won't breathe? Uh, something like that. We ain't worrying about if he coming down off Burns, Mr. Chavis, and that yellow dog. We ain't worrying about that part. We just worrying about, you know, the dogs themselves because we know them brothers how they bred them dogs, and, and like you said, it's now they they refuse to go out to cross out the other stuff. The boys tell you all day long, it's better to keep it pure. You go ahead and cross yours, but it's better to keep it pure. I ain't gonna lie to you though, man. Some brothers got some good crosses with that walk stuff though. Brothers got some good crosses with it, man. Man, I don't know what we're going to do with them, folk. I don't know what we're going to do with them, dog. I want to come on live right now. I'll turn my camera on and show you a pit bull right now. At Buck said, I'll give you $5,000, bitch, if you do it. No, I ain't going to cap. I ain't going to give you no 5000 if you do that, because that's too easy. I'll give you 5000 if you get up here and tell me Michael Myers' fucking record. And I'm going to tell you Rattler record. If you can tell me more Michael Myers than I can tell you a Rattler, then you get the money. If I can tell more about Rattler than you can tell me about Michael Myers, then I get the money. Talk about that cap and... <laughs> hey, hey, um, Big Pimpin', what's the question, dog? 
I, you know, I've been talking my ass off, and I probably just ain't see it, dog, because I ain't even, I, this is my first time seeing you, big pimping. You know, I ain't even shoot you no shout out or none of that. You might be talking shit or whatever. I don't know. What was the question, big dog? I didn't see it. You know, drop the question again. I, I'll answer that shit for you. Unless I was, you know, let me let me stroll through. Let me see. You say I ain't answering the question. Is it true they left on the wash at the wash with Rattler? Oh, is it true they left at the wash with Rattler? I ain't never heard that, dog. This is the first time I heard that. Now, you now you might be getting that shit mixed up with that live shit Chico talking about. They left at the scales with um with split ears. That must be what you're talking about. <laughs> I, I'm going to tell you right now. Knowing them boys like I know them boys, I can't see them boys leaving the mother, walking out, walking away from them shit like that. Back in them days, you know what I'm saying? Shit. Mm -mm. And Rattler, is it? You say is it true they left at the wash? Only way it can be true they left at the wash with Rattler. That means somebody else was trying to do some fucked up shit. They ain't leaving no wash I was at. They washed the dog ass. That's what they did. Rattler washes, wash that motherfucker ass. I got another homeboy I could come up here and come up here and validate Rattler because he was there too. <laughs> Rattler valid, Rattler wax his dog ass. <laughs> hey, shit. And, and five bands on that. Will you call that backyard? You call that backyard? There were five bands on that one. And then I seen one, they want to get mad at the old man. Want to fight the old man because Rattler in there kicking ass. Want to get mad at the old man. Well, shut your mouth, this and that. Want to talk all kind of shit to the old man because Rattler in there kicking his motherfucker ass. <laughs> get your ass. Man, listen. Damn, I done gave y'all more. This that little, that little 30 seconds than, than we can get out of the buck about that, man. Come on, man. Oh, yeah, dog. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if Rattler left off a of damn wash, I'm going to tell you now. Did that mean somebody got busted cheating and them boys left? Because them boys on, them boys ain't pussy, son. You know? And everybody who, who coming up against the boys respect the game. They ain't going to damn underestimate them. I know none of that type of shit. So who was the dog that could have made Rattler leave the wash? They, they, hey, big dog, big pimpin. They, they bought that story out about Rattler leaving the wash. But where the dog at that made him leave it? Hey, big pimpin. I'm a fan of the walk stuff, and I was rolling with the crossroads stuff before the walk stuff. Before I got a fan of the walk stuff, them always been my homeboys. You know what I'm saying? Since I've been fucking damn, didn't even have none of them kind of dogs. They was my homeboys. But I was fucking with Crossroad. When I was fucking with Crossroad, me and them boys was cool already. You know what I'm saying? I just wasn't running their dogs. They already had Big John and all them. They are. I had. I had bought a dog. Let me, let me check that back. I bought a dog off of um, off of a uh, champion uh, Red John back in the days. Ch not champion Red Thunder, but champion Red John back in the days. And I named him Chester. You know what I'm saying? I named him Chester, and that was way in the nineties. You know what I'm saying? Like. Probably like 95, 96, somewhere around that area. All right. But I was running that crossroads stuff. You know what I'm saying? Big pimping. But like I told you, dog, I keep it all the way hunted. I told y'all boys what, what it was with crossroads. You know what I'm saying? A lot of brothers say I'm capping. You know? I told y'all what it was. I told y'all <laughs> Fatty ain't had no damn sons in this area that made no noise outside of Sambo. You know? Sambo killed one of Fatty's half, one of his half brothers that was all Fatty and a damn Tom Garner female. Big red dog. All Fatty and a Tom Garner female. Sambo put that bitch down. But one thing about Crossroad, you know, Crossroad sought me to fuck up. See, I don't bring that street shit into the dog shit. What I'm talking about now, this dog shit. No. Motherfucker, damn. When that shit happened with Crossroad, yeah, I was motherfucking going to his house. He out there want to kill his damn bitch. He out there want to shoot Dana and kill her because she out there fucking a nigga, fucking a, my age, you know what I'm saying, one of my classmates. 
fucking my boy, one of my boys, not my homeboys, but she fucking uh, one of my classmates, like I you know Ed Carter, Crossroad Carter. He wanna ram his truck all in the apartment, pull Dana out of the house by the by the by her head and all kind of shit, dragging her out of the house. You can't keep up from that man. She won't that dick. You know what I'm saying? From that man. Yeah, she and you that. You know, that's that come when you motherfuckers think money keep bitches. You know what I'm saying? Ladies like to be treated like they like to be treated. They don't give a damn how much money you got. Some damn time. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, bro, yeah, Crossroad got me. You know what I'm saying? He got busted. And I figured, yo, you know, the helicopter landed in his yard. You know what I'm saying? They ain't come for no dogs. He killed all his yard man dogs. The man he had cleaning his yard up. And he had a few dogs over there with him. Crossroad, he had old Crossroad money. Crossroad killed all the man damn dogs. You know what I'm saying? The man called the police on him. So while Crossroad going through all these hard times, his wife about to leave him, about to take everything. He over there crying, talking about, oh, man, she going to take the Corvette from me. She going to take all this. I'm motherfucking over there comforting his motherfucking ass, right? Yeah, I'm over there comforting his motherfucking ass, thinking, oh, he cool as hell with me. He cool as hell with me. But guess what? In the day, I was just a motherfucking nigga. You know what I'm saying? Just a motherfucking nigga. Sop me motherfucking up. Yeah, he sopped me the fuck up. It's all good. You know what I'm saying? It's all good. Them folk jumped out on me, chased me down the block. I had a pistol on my waist, had dope in my pocket, and I had weed in my pocket. But guess what? I panicked. I jumped off that moped. That police grabbed me. I jumped off the moped. I started panicking. My shirt came off. I broke off on that bitch. I had about six six inches of space. I broke off on that bitch. I'm motherfucking like Flash. I always been a runner. You know what I'm saying? I broke off on that bitch. My, 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 my pistol had a holster. I had a holster on my pistol. I didn't have no shirt on. So while I'm running, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking like, yo, if I turn around, he's going to see I got the pistol on me. So I got to keep running. I got to keep running. I can't turn around. I left that bitch. I got rid of my dope. I got rid of my weed. And I got rid of my motherfucking gun. Stop. Turn myself in. He said, yo, you are, you you going to jail for selling dope. I say, selling dope? I hey, Yo, see, listen. I ain't been selling no dope all summer. I was selling pounds of weed. I ain't sold no dope all summer. So I was confused. But he was talking about weed. He was talking about weed. Sold some to Crossroad. Sold him two ounces. He got me on two distributions of two ounces of weed. You know? But guess what? It's all good. I done talked to Crossroad since then. You know what I'm saying? We ironed all that out. But I got to tell you shit because so you can see where I'm coming from with this shit. You know what I'm saying? Fatty, Pee Wee, all them dogs Crossroad had could have been ours. He tried to sell them dogs to us, especially when he was getting out the game. Lock and load, all of them. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, when I got Sambo, that was during the time where all that fucked up shit was going on. He was just about to start getting out the game. He was selling all his dogs and all that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? When he stopped me up with the police, Egg sold me Crossroad Kennel sitting in the front front seat of his truck. He said, yo, you want to buy it? Give me $2,000. I said, okay. Boom. Yeah, I got, I got Crossroad Kennel, but I got a fucking distribution at the same damn time. You know? Same damn time. And guess what? Guess what I did? Soon as I got out, I jump on online pedigree. It wasn't no Facebook or none of that shit then. I jump on online pedigree. This was in 2003. You know what I'm saying? 2003, I jump on online pedigree. I said, yo, this motherfucker Crossroads stopped me up. This and that, blah, blah, blah. He was on there. He was talking shit, talking shit back to me. You know what I'm saying? But it was what it was. You know? And guess what? I'm going to tell you how fuck, fuck boys get. You know? Same motherfucker stopped me up. The same motherfuckers around here to be talking shit about me in Conway bought dogs from the same motherfucker that sought me up. <laughs> but it's all good. Got, got the dogs right now. They ain't bought them from him. Rocking the dogs right now. You know? And you think I'm supposed to give a fuck about niggas? He, ain't, ain't nobody got no damn loyalty out here, man. Hey, hell yeah, dog. I stopped running. Once I got that dope out my pocket, I, I stopped running. I ain't going home. You ain't about to search my house, dog. I'm stopping right here and I'm waiting till you get here. I always do that shit. I don't know. Once I get that shit off me, I'm chilling. You ain't about to beat my ass in no ground, no corner, none of that. I'm stopping right here on the side of the road. Oh, here you go. I'm, I'm, we, we, he, he came. He, he put his gun up. He had his gun out. He was running. The officer, he, he ain't no shooter. The officer is a runner. He known to be a track star. And he was known to be the fastest one on the force. 
But when you're fucking with a dude that's scared, I'm scared right now because I'm panicking. I know I got this gun on me. I know I got crack on me. And I got weed on me. And you jumped out and put your hand on me and about, come here. And you the detective, that motherfucker. You that motherfucker. Man, I panic. You know how you start going, hey. I panic, boy. I, I love to hurt somebody when you panic in that, in that 15 seconds worth of time. I got up out that shirt, and that was a wrap. All about all because of Crossroad Kennel. You know what I'm saying? All because of Crossroad Kennel. Yeah, when you went and did Barracuda, we watching your yard. You know what I'm saying? When you when 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 Fatty Brother Crunch got beat by the dog, I want to say it was 600 down there. He took. I, I want to say it was 600. You know what I'm saying? Champion 600. I want to say it was him, but I'm not 100% sure. Crunch was ours. My, my, my man had Crunch. You know what I'm saying? But he died before he got home. I'm the only person that ever had a puppy off Crunch. Fatty little mate brother. Because Crunch wasn't making no puppies. You know, I named that bitch Carl Mega and sold it to my other homeboy who I got dogs with now. You know what I'm saying? Okay, 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 okay. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Yes, sir, yes, sir, man. But, I, I, you know, I, I fuck with the crossroad dogs because, you no, know, like I said, that person, that, 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 all that street stuff and whatever happened, I done talked to Eric since then multiple times. You know what I'm saying? He was like, I'm like, yo, man, fuck all that shit. That, that back in the days, man. You know what I'm saying? Life goes on. You ain't dead. I ain't dead. You living your life. I'm living my life. You know, it was what it was, dog. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I, I was fortunate enough that the, the, the officer that sought me up, that got me up, actually was there that using the recording and all that. I was fortunate enough that he got sent to Iraq. But let me tell y'all this now. The officer that was on my case got sent to Iraq. And my lawyer said, let's go ahead and go to court. He in Iraq. He can't come. I had to plead guilty to the little bit of weed I got caught in my pocket. I had like a dime bag of weed, some hydro, loud gas. You know what I'm saying? You know? But uh, I pled guilty to simple possession of weed, you know, and, and the, the distribution got dropped because the lawyers weren't here. But the sad part about this, though, the sad part about this, the same officer, and I wrote about this in my book. You know what I'm saying? I wrote about this in my book. The same officer that jumped out on me from Crossroads setting me up, the same officer that jumped out on me and grabbed me off the moped that day, that chased me to my neighborhood and I stopped and I waited on, that officer died in Iraq in the Fallujah ambush. You know what I'm saying? They ambushed the convoy. He was working with the, um, you know, the Blackwater. Uh, my brothers who were in the military and stuff, you know what I'm talking about when I'm talking about the Blackwater. The boys, see, he was in the Marines and all that, but he, you know, he was finished with that and he was rolling with them boys. You know, uh, he was in the Blackwater before, but this group that he got killed in was just like Blackwater. You know, so if you know how Blackwater is, you know what I'm talking about. But anyway, they got ambushed on a uh, at a at a uh, checkpoint in Fallujah, man. And you know, I had already beat my charge, so I didn't need for him to get hurt or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? It's just a sad situation that that happened because he was an officer known all through the city. You know what I'm saying? And it just showed how that Iraq War affect everybody, dog. You know what I'm saying? He affect everybody. This motherfucker, when I was in high school, working at Burger King, they used to call him Super Cop. This motherfucker jump out chasing the, the fastest brothers down. You know what I'm saying? He ain't pulling out no taser, no, none of that shit. Old school, riding up with the doors cracked, jump out chasing your ass. You know what I'm saying? He was one of them cops. Jump out, jump out the woods at nighttime. You out there hustling. This motherfucker camouflage. He ain't got no force with him. He out there by his damn self. Camouflage, jump out the woods on your ass, tackle your ass. Super Cop. You know what I'm saying? Super cop. You know? And he died He died for this country. You know? He died for this country. And, and, and I wrote about it in my book because of the fact that the matter is uh, how the whole situation went down. You know what I'm saying? I had to give him his props. You know, uh, he only doing his job. When he jumped out and he chased me, he was only doing his job. I was playing the role I was playing in the streets. He was a cop, so he had to do what he had to do. You know? It just was what it was. I can't hate the man. That was his job. You know what I'm saying? In the day, you don't want nobody to die. Especially when you're thinking this Iraq war don't affect people or it don't, it don't affect you. It don't hit the people over there in this state or that state. I don't know nobody that died or I don't know nobody that got killed in the war and all that. Man, shit. 
This this is man, that motherfucker chased me off the moped. You know what I'm saying? Get out of that motherfucker now, way on a whole other country. Get killed up. Last through all this shit. Go out there to that country over there, get killed up at an ambush on a, at a checkpoint. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's just fucked up, man. You know? Fucked up. Private security, like the brother Tall Strange say, private security. You know? And them boys was the, like them real security guards, like them, uh, them walking around protecting the, the president type shit. Like Blackwater, you know, if you know Blackwater, if you know about Blackwater, them, they got their scandals and their little, their bad stuff that people be saying about them. You know about them security groups or whatever, but you know what it is. The name of my book, G Test, is called Kilos and Palm Trees, dog. Kilos and Palm Trees on, on Amazon.com. Amazon. Kilos for that dope that was moving through and the palm trees from Myrtle Beach. You know what I'm saying? Kilos and palm trees. I even, I even talk about Crossroad and Sambo like two little pages. I ain't getting into much dog talk in it. It ain't no dog talk book. It's just a book telling you about little things I went through throughout life and shit. And basically at the end of the book, I said, yo, man, brothers need to change their life, get them a good woman. You know what I'm saying? A God-fearing woman, whatever she believe in. And fuck all the other bullshit, man. You know what I'm saying? Fuck all the other bullshit. It ain't worth it. You know? It ain't worth it. AAG test. If you get on Amazon, bro, and you check out Kilos and Palm Trees, anything you see under Black Spielberg, because that's what it's going to be. That's what we're going to say on Kilos and Palm Trees. It's going to say Black Spielberg. Any book that you see up under there with that name, that's me. You know what I'm saying? It should be 13 to 14 books up there. Uh, fiction, uh, fiction, um, Autobiography, biography, uh, nonfiction, sci-fi, I did it all. Because I never know what general. I might bump into an old woman who likes sci-fi books. So I got something for her. I might bump into an old man who like biographies. I got something for him. I try to write something for every single person. That's why I wrote all the different generals. You know what I'm saying? Got the pit bull stuff for the brothers who like the pits. Yes, sir. Hey man, we three strong tonight, man. I think we're gonna turn this thing, turn this thing in, man. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna turn it in tonight, man. Uh y'all stay safe out there. Y'all stay legal out there. Let me see what Brother Vernon's talking about. Oh, he said he got a few partners did a year with the Black Water. Hey, hey, yeah. I know one dude that's over there. I don't know if he would. Actually, with Blackwater, but he over there, um, one of them foreign countries right now doing some contracting work. Yeah, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't lying, George. That's a, excuse me, excuse me. That's a dangerous job, man. That's a dangerous job. Brothers will run over there thinking it's about the money. And it's good, great money. But them brothers put their life on the line when they go over there, dog. Whether they truckers or tankers or whatever they, you know, whatever they doing. Them boys putting their life on the line going over there. Yes, sir, man. Salute to you, George Smith. Salute to you, brother. Have a great night, man. You know what I'm saying? But everybody, man, don't forget to hit that like button, man. Don't forget to drop down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. You know what I'm saying? Maybe one of these days we'll get these questions answers for these dog brothers. You know what I'm saying? Because, like I said, brothers know more about my dogs than I know about them. But they don't know about their damn dogs. You know what I'm saying? It just is what it is. It is what it is. I said enough. You know what I'm saying? Yep, yeah, you're right, Vernon. Most are combat vets. You know what I'm saying? Most are combat vets. You know? Uh, and I want to send a big salute out to all my brothers, my 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 soldiers out there, my combat vets, my, my family members to the combat vets. You know what I'm saying? My family members to anybody that damn ever did a tour. Because I always say, man, y'all motherfuckers don't know how it feel if you had a brother or a cousin or uncle or a daddy. Over that motherfucker, you don't know if he coming home. You don't, you don't know. The motherfucker telling you they, they, they in the shootouts for days. And you don't know if you're going to see them again. Man, listen. The family go through just as much as the damn people over there that fight. PBK Nines, man. Y'all have a good night. And I'm out.